hey, 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 everyone. Rev and Shani are um, live, so we're going right to it. Hope you guys are doing I good. Feel, I feel like some some weeks I feel like it's worth it, and other weeks I feel like, why the fuck am I doing this? Why are you doing it, then? It doesn't help me in the long run at all. It could have helped me document my medical conditions. My, 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 uh, nah, I don't have any mental illness. I'm fine. That's not what they're, you know, it's fine. I, I, I wonder I what this, like uh, else. what so. caused this to come about the stream. I missed, we missed a little bit of it in the beginning. At least you got two sturdy legs. But I'll go back and we'll watch whatever we missed uh, when this is yeah, over. Yeah, better. I'm going to need them, aren't I? Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, I am. <clears throat> Love you guys so much. Do you have to be rough with me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm talking to you, man. You're kind of snappy. I know. Oh. I know. Oh, talking to you. Fight. Okay. They're going to be fighting. You're not used to this, me. <laughs> I know. I don't like them either. I hate them. That's a good ghost. Oh, Lord. It's a miracle that the internet's still on. I know. I'm really surprised at that. Uh, maybe midnight tonight. Maybe. That's probably correct. But I'm a good ghost, and I love you. I love you too. Because yeah. that person said they were going to help me, like, day before yesterday or whatever. And it never happened. So if this is the new thing. Yeah. They so they dang, they... Dang, dang, dangle something. Dangle, dangle, dangle a, dangle a fucking banana in front of you. Well, Rev, you don't have to worry about that if you get a like fucking it. job. Someone dangling something oh, in front did. of you is more yeah. than you fucking deserve. Fucking dumb. This dude saying they're going through my medical records. I know that's bullshit. Hey, what else are they saying? Is that it? Y yeah. They're what going the through. Who who's going what through your you medical peaches? records? How can they go through my medical records without signatures of consent? Because they break the law. Yeah. Where would they go to go through? To if they know somebody that's in the medical field, that'd be willing to do it for them. Nobody Absolutely. is. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anyone who would be doing that because it's highly illegal, and the nurse and the nurses and doctors know they would get fired for that and lose their license. Thank you, Peaches, for the super chat and, and, and get the thrown good in girls. jail. Love I, you, I girl. I understand that, but it's you. Like, yeah, well, they can't get the medical records without consent. Shani, why are Period. you letting someone worry Period. you like about this shit? Like, they're just fucking trolling you when they say that. Why not just ignore it? Like, you never learn. You never learn. They aren't going to show your medical they're records. They don't have them. established law. And if what you're saying is the truth, though, Shani, what do you have to hide in there anyway? If someone did share your medical records, yeah, they wouldn't even say what like, you said, I need to, right? I need to talk about, you know, I need I need the files of Shannon. Do you have a consent form? <laughs> if there's like, who nothing are they go to? that yeah, you're I doing you're wrong, sure. you wouldn't yeah. care if people saw it's it. Bullshit. You're worried that people will get your medical records because it will prove that I mean, a lot I of the shit you've said is not true. Absolutely patently, patently ridiculous it is that a group of people would say let's go through someone's medical records at all unless we're talking about something like you know jfk because he had addison's disease and 
everybody wants to know about JFK and, and his history. That I would get. But some just person from the internet that makes YouTube videos, let's go through their medical records. What's absolute psychopaths? Well, it's also highly illegal. Yeah. That don't stop them from doing everything they did to us. All of it was illegal. It's true. Falsely calling police on us to get us kicked out of our apartment. Y'all totally are a broken illegal. fucking record. Say the shame, same shit over and over just again. Because it's the internet. I just want some sody. <laughs> some sody. Well, smoke would be nice too. Then tell your man to get a job. You want to know how well, I, I get sody? Oh no, because it's past ten. No, it's I get sody because my okay. husband works and provides. For well, if family. somebody would like to hook us up with a little bit of God, why say it? No, why then don't say it? say it. Then just don't well, say it. You already know where you can give, so if you wanted to, you could. Go into the description of our page. Yeah. Wow. You could if you wanted to. Ooh. That would be nice. Ooh. That would be a huge blessing. Shanny, stop with the dramatics. And we're always grateful. Always. Oh, oh I'm in. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Someone, please, can you give us some money? So I can get my medicine. My precious medicine. I'm really sick of this pain level. I'm really sick of you bitching about really it. Am. My God. Do something about it. Yeah. But no, you guys keep doing this. Like, coming on here and doing this is going to solve all your problems, right? My feet are swollen. My Somebody is going to give swollen. you money. You'll be Everything. fucking broke my again hips tomorrow. Are swollen. Probably my back. I don't know how to. I, Shanny. I can't see my back. So. <laughs> Shanny. Yeah. Your whole body is swollen. It's called being overweight. Yeah, this is like, live right now, Chibi. My legs feel like a really bad cavity. What? Except it's in your legs, not in your mouth. What? Huh? Like where the joints are, each point of the joints. So you got the ankles and they're raising hell like a cavity. I got my knees and they're raising hell like a cavity. My hips and my back. And I'm at my the neck, point now that my back, like my. Know. Yep, I'll stop there. I'd say it, but I don't want the police to come. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're legitimately in the same boat at, 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 with that. With that uh, sentiment. Oh. So. God. Wow. What is this? What? I, I, I'm, I'm confused. What is this? What are we doing? Are they really just going to sit on here and not say uh. anything? Sitting up does not help me. Laying down doesn't really help much either, but... Wow. This is quality content, fun. folks. Quality content. Yeah. I hear ya. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. Don't you be sorry. No, be sorry. 
You had it right oh. first, first go around there. I've been hurting all day, my love. I my know. love, my love, my pretty girl. This sucks. Okie dokie. Um, what are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? Did you get off? No. Oh. Absolutely. It's about time to do that. Oh, is that it? That is it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys later. Just kidding. <laughs> Did I scare you? No. Um, let's see. We're going to go back and listen to it from the beginning real quick and see what we missed. And then I've got a couple of other things to show you and play for you tonight that I really think you're going to like. Um, so let's close out of there. By the way, did y'all see the, let me show you the, the, um, things from, actually, wait a minute, hold on, because I might want to wait until, Michael's going to be coming on in just a second, um, but we'll go ahead while we're waiting for him and, uh, start watching some of this, so, this is from earlier today. Yes, S. Parker, that is her legs. I'll show that in a minute. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Um, I'm just doing a quick uh, prayer request video for Shani. Um, her health condition is so bad, guys. Like, what's up, guys? I crafty cuppa. Uh, literally, that's all this is for, is just uh, to request some prayers for Shani because uh, the Christians praying really do work, you know? Christian prayer works. So, uh, yeah, her, her health is so bad. There's like, there's no words for it. Like she belongs in a rehab place, to be honest. Okay. And that's, that's well, what we're going to aim for. She's got Medicaid, so she can make Chapstick, that happen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. My lips are always like this. Rice you know? and beans. You can't find them on Instagram. They're under Thank the you. real Rev and Shani. Thank you, Florence. Here, Lucy I'll Lewis. grab the link if you want. Interesting. But yeah, that's what in. this is for. I'm just coming on to say that, and then I'm going away. I wanted to actually save the video, though. That's stupid. You do like less than a minute video or something on Instagram, and it just whatever. Yeah, the change of weather is always painful. That's right, Stacy. Yeah. Um. It makes our, like I know from my other, um, they won't do anything for her at the hospital, man. Hi, Beans Low. What's up? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm out of smokes. You're right about that. <laughs> How'd you know? I, you can read me pretty good if you can read that I don't feel too good because I don't have smokes, June. That's pretty amazing. What is it really that, that amazing, though, to think that when you're on here asking for money, looking like a bum, that you ha don't have smokes? Does that really take a genius to figure that out? No, no diss to whoever was saying that, but you know what I mean? Like, it's really not that amazing. A at any given day, I could say, oh, Rev, you look like you need cigarettes you look miserable because you haven't smoked cigarettes and it would probably be somewhat correct so just saying not really groundbreaking or anything how you doing beans all they just call you bean no so yeah 
if you guys could just send up some prayers and and yeah you want to send smoke money you can absolutely do that if you can i'd, I'd very much appreciate that <laughs> i bet you and would if you did you could send you could send it <laughs> omni thank you for the super chat omni says why did i never ask for money to buy soap or toothpaste very good question or cleaning supplies Wait, they do ask for that. They just don't use them. But good question. I mean, I get why Shani might not ask for toothpaste because she doesn't have a lot going in there to brush. But Rev definitely does need it. And they both need some damn soap. Some strong soap, like antibacterial. You have a pack? Well, that's awesome. But I, I can't exactly get it from you. I'm not sure where you're at. Uh, cash Ew, out. Omni, they never ask for toilet paper either. Like whatever. <laughs> oh no! It's this one. You want to drop me some smoke money? That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that's it, guys. I just I'm requesting prayer, and I saw that a couple of you guys said already that you're sending them up. So. I we guess that didn't work that. out. <laughs> I guess whoever what's said they were going to do that didn't work out. <laughs> uh, squirt and run. Why, Rev is there. Why would they need paper? Oh, God. Oh, Thanks. thank you, Bean Slow. You're the shit. You're awesome. Ew, I, I just posted it in there, but yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you there. Hey, thank you. You're awesome. And you guys are awesome, too, for sending up prayers. We need prayers, like, real No, bad. Lubis, I cannot you know? imagine the smell, and I don't want to. So don't even try making me. Uh, I'm debating. Should I tell you about what has been going personal, or should I not? And Rev, the if, fact that you're even willing to entertain that idea tells me you have not learned a motherfucking thing oh my god you guys say all the time oh i don't want people in my personal business and why are people talking about my personal business like we said you put it out there that's how people know that's how people talk about it don't like the fact that you would even think about doing that shows it just shows me like you you don't you're never gonna learn you're never gonna learn if I told you what happened, then, you know, everybody would just dogpile and be like, yeah. But I mean, I, I, of course, it's more content for me, so feel free. But just saying, you know, person to person, I, uh, I might would, you know, start doing things a little differently. Yeah, yeah. See, we told you. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go personal with myself because it's not worth it. God Smart. bless you guys. Jesus is king. And just keep up the prayers. I love you. Miss Fribbit, God bless you. Love you. Take care. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Cigarettes. <laughs> Do y'all remember that? Some of you I know remember it, but where he said that on a stream, he's like, I love you. I love you. I love you. Cigarettes. It was funny, but you probably had to be there. All right. So then we got this picture from four hours ago and lubis i see you in the in the comments saying jesus christ man gross i can promise you that comment will not stay there for long but it's there now and hey i agree i definitely agree i i'm i'm confused at what is this supposed to prove because she's saying that like i mean this is supposed to prove that they're, that her legs and stuff are swollen but like how could we possibly know what was swelling and what was just her size? Like, I'm sorry, like, but it doesn't look swollen to me. It just looks like it always does. But if it is swollen as well, you know, keep them up like this. The fact that she thought that this was a good idea to post in a picture. Um, once again, the TMI stuff and like they wonder why people are know everything about them or in their business. Well, here we go. A prime example. Look at this. Does she even, she don't even I don't even know if she has pants on. 
but they need they need money. They're desperate. And so she's going to come on here and take a picture and do something like this. <sighs> Once again, they never learn. All right, let me refresh and see if the latest one is there now. And it is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get into this one and see what we missed. Because I think we caught the tail end of it. So it, ch it, changed the way it changed the way you go live again. Now it just goes three, two, one, live. What the hell is that? That's really weird. Cankles. No ankles, just cankles. What are you doing with your life, Rev? Hi guys, so we got a, uh, an email. Uh, I don't know where the hell the email was, if it was my email address or hers or whatever. I don't know. Oh, some. Speaking of emails, I got a funny one to share with you guys after this as well. We have some, we have some uh, things to share with you that I think you guys are going to find interesting and, and pretty funny at times. Idiot. Um, that said, uh, they're, they're going through your medical records, um, and apparently, uh, they're saying that Shani is in a conservatorship. Well, that would make absolutely zero sense. You know why? Why? Because the purpose of a conservatorship is to conserve financial means. That's what a conservatorship is for. Like if you got a crazy person, like they were saying, uh, Brittany was nuts, shaving her head and shit, uh, or Kanye West, because he was out of his mind for a time. Absolutely. Uh, it's it's to protect their their goods, their financial uh, their financials. Yeah, you because definitely because people don't need that are that. unstable mentally like that can spend money real fast and just go oh. through it. And oh, not. is is that what can happen? So you know why he just said that? Because he's justifying that they went through their money so fast. And basically insinuating that the reason that they went through it so fast is because they're so mentally unwell. Like everything he says has some kind of underlying purpose. I mean, not that they're smart enough to really like be doing that much uh, behind the scene, but like, yeah. On, so um, yeah, it makes absolutely no sense as to why Shani would be in a conservatorship, uh, because there's nothing to conserve. Right. Well, but that's more not necessarily true either. Isn't a conservatorship can be for more than just. Um, looking over someone's finances, right? Like a conservatorship can be somebody that um, is uh, in charge of your medical records and stuff. You're, you know what I mean? Making sure that you're going to the doctor and you're taking the medications that you should and, and all that stuff. It can, I, unless I'm wrong and I could be wrong, but I, I thought like, just like you can have power of attorney for someone. It doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be about finances. Um, I would think that a conservatorship probably is a little bit similar, but I could be wrong. These are this is just what I would assume. Brilliant people on the internet just making shit up because they can, because it's fun, right? It is. It's it's really fun to because. It, they get a reaction. That's why they do it. You know this. You know this, but you keep doing the same thing because you are so desperate. And you don't have the funds that you need and nobody's coming in and funding shit for you. Uh, to just make shit up and, and like pretend that it's real. Within your little peer group. Of, of psychos on the internet. You, ju you just all pretend that this stuff is real. And then you laugh and say how, oh, look at how stupid they are. Ah, it's like, I literally, to me. Yes. 
on the yeah a conservator would be preventing these live broadcasts you a hundred percent and in that sense they definitely need one (laughs) but yeah they aren't gonna get one it's like the man i'd get real bad backlash for saying what i just thought of saying then don't say it but i don't give a shit today okay it's like the short bus kids it's the same type of shit. Laughing. You laugh like the short bus kids. Huh? That's really stupid fucking shit that nobody cares about. Who the fuck would care if Shani is in a conservatorship or not anyway? What do you mean who would care? You're the ones that are coming out here talking about this shit all the time. Her medical history, her medical records, what's going on with her. That's why people care because you've involved them in your shit. So people want to know if she, if she's under conservatorship, that's kind of a big deal. People would want to know. It's just news. I mean, again, if you didn't put your entire life out there and say all this, people wouldn't be asking questions like that. Why the fuck would you care in the first place? But I mean, it's patently ridiculous and stupid because there's nothing to conserve. Nothing. So her health is nothing to conserve? Her health and well-being is nothing to conserve? Once again, a conservatorship can be applied for more than just financial. So that's wonderful. Oh, there's a person that's supposed to. Yeah. I yeah. hate liars, too. What? Don't hate on yourself like that, Rev. Come on. <laughs> you hate liars. Get the fuck out of here. You are you and, and the woman next to you are one of the some of the biggest liars to be on this platform. So the self-hate must be strong. Uh, cool. Thank you, Squirt and Run. So it can be a medical. Okay, a medical would be a guardianship, but the same person can be both. So there is a difference. A conservatorship is um, the financial and the guardship is for the medical. Is the way I'm understanding that. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, the head kicker has had enough liars. Jesus. I really despise people who lie deliberately to other people. I despise child abusers, but... All I want is a soda. (laughs) Oh, my God. (sighs) Like, what is... Shani, all I want is a soda. Rev's response. (sighs) Goofiest fucking, like... Is that the noise that you make, Rev, when you know that you're not going to do what you need to do to help your wife get a soda? So that's your reaction to her saying she wants or needs something is oh, fucking something loser. Water. I'm literally like gonna just murder if I don't get a cigarette. Wait, what? I did he just say I'm gonna murder if I don't get a cigarette? I thought earlier you were just asking for prayers. And when people offered to pay to give you money for cigarettes or something, you were like, oh, well, that would be cool, too. Clearly, that was bullshit then, right? You were asking for money then. That's what prayers mean to you guys. You don't want prayers. You want money. And that's clear. Me? I hope not. What did I do to you? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be up for any other reason. What did you do to him, Shani? Well, let's see. You came into his life, uh, caused him to basically go into, um, you know, spending every dime that he's got of his inheritance. Um, You've got him, you know, thrown in not you well, i take that back you didn't get him thrown in jail 
your older son did. So you can't even take credit for that much. So you want a soda too? I hear you. Hi, Run Like Helen. There's people agreeing with you. They want sodas. Hi, old man Herb. How are you doing? Tuna with cheese joined. That's a right? great name. Right, Sunshine? When he has cigarettes, he, he, when he has cigarettes, if you wouldn't smoke them so fast, you'd have cigarettes. Exactly, Sunshine. That, and if Shani didn't smoke them and not even in a, inhale, they would have more cigarettes too. Because what is the point in smoking a cigarette or anything else for that matter if you're not going to inhale? I guess it's just to look cool. And with Shani and Rev's situation, I've heard people theorize and they could be right that Shani smokes the cigarette or yeah, smokes the cigarettes, even though she's not inhaling just because she is not going to let Rev have anything all to himself. So she's got to have some cigarettes too. Tuna with cheese is delicious. Of course, in my household, when we have tuna, we have to fight the cats off us. Oh, hi, Erin. Tuna fans. They love their tuna. They really do. How are you doing, Erin? Well, my eyes are so What? My eyes look so evil. <laughs> You're missing your chemical of nicotine. You need smoke for your temple. Yeah, I really do. I, that's not a joke either. That's not no. a fucking joke. I chain smoke since I'm 19. So maybe you need to quit. <laughs> Time for a, 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 well, not a New Year's resolution, but some sort I of resolution. Have a soda. In a cigarette, I would be a happy person right now. Yeah, exactly. I highly yeah. doubt that. I highly doubt that. Please, Lord Jesus, can we get some smokes? <laughs> oh, my God. And some soda tonight. Oh, my God. Woman, you seriously, you have the fucking nerve to get on here and pray for cigarettes? And soda. Oh my God. Please, oh, Lord. Jesus Christ, man. I've I love... been trying to work all day toward it. I love Jesus. Please, Lord. Please. I love Jesus when he's given me all my cigarettes and Amen. Uh, soda pop. He can't do it anymore. <laughs> Neither can I. Then why are you here doing it? it? It's, it's, I'm getting to My the God. point where I, I, it's hard to even walk to the bathroom. Period. Anything. Yeah. yeah. That's why like, you, you should be in inpatient yeah, my, care. My legs are not working. Yeah. If Let me get this right. If Shani needed inpatient care, all right, she's covered under Medicaid, correct? So why can't she get it? If that's what she needs, why isn't she there? Uh, you know, the thing is, things have to be approved for that. And I don't think any doctor or whoever would think she that she does need that yet. I don't think it's to that point. She, what she needs is to make some changes in her health. And uh, her go on a diet and start exercising more. Because that's exactly what they're going to do. When if she was to go into some place, they would start monitoring monitoring her um, health. No, they wouldn't. Chibi. Well, um, if she needed to be in in a place like that, I'm pr pretty sure Medicaid could make that happen um, if they thought it was necessary. So if it's not then they deemed it not to be at that level. You know what I mean? You should be in inpatient care at this point. Where you should be is inpatient rehab. 100%. I feel like my Not for your body, but for drugs and alcohol. It's freaking crap. Yeah. Well, I guess drugs. They don't drink alcohol. What if there's bone spurs in there? Bone spurs? No, you <laughs> bone don't. Spurs? Yeah, I don't 
I don't know either. I feel like I want to throw up sometimes. The pain is so bad. <coughs> Uh, I know there's someone in the audience be like, you want to throw up if you're in pain? Have you ever been in that much pain where you almost want to throw up? Yeah. Because that type of pain exists. Yeah, it, it does. Definitely. That's it where does. I'm at. What's wrong, Jesse? What are you, why do you think you did something wrong? There's something wrong with water. I drink about a gallon and a half a day of water. Uh, and my I mouth don't believe is that. Dry. I don't <laughs> believe that. Yeah, he is weird, not drinking water. I guarantee. I drink it. two liters of soda. It's not dry. That makes but me absolutely drinking just no water. Sense. Absolutely no sense. My freaking mouth is a desert. What the hell is that? I don't know, man. I bet the water is becoming. Ooh, hypothetical. run like hell and diabetes thirst. That is a thing. That well, is I, a thing. I, Maybe. I think you've talked about that before. Yeah. And people said you were an idiot. Hydrogen can be in a liquid form too, morons. Anyway. <laughs> water can become hypoxic. Google that shit. Mm hmm. Oh, I get told I'm wrong and stupid all the freaking time, and it's like, I'm telling you, science. Like, actual, solidified science. Or maybe it's the fluoride they put in the water. You know, these people, though, they say they're going to give this and give that and give that. They always have excuses as to why it didn't happen. Yeah, and I just sick of it. I'm. It's don't tell me you're gonna do something, just don't. Oh, shut up. Because assholes do that, like teddy bear. Uh -oh. Let your nays be nays, and let your yays yeah. be yays. Yeah, yeah. Don't save yourself from being an asshole, and don't tell me you'll get me anything, because it really makes me just end up hating your fucking guts in the end. Wow. I didn't tell him I was a virgin. <laughs> oh, Lord. Not going to touch that. He's going through it. Which probably my humor isn't helping him. All right. Did, did you unleash your bipolar? I, I, if just walking for a second, is that? Okay, sure. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Wow, that wasn't believable. Oh, look, here we go. Finally. I didn't think did you were ever going to show up. Did I miss her spouting her? Scientific knowledge. Turn the TV down or something. Gotta stay up on the news, girl. <laughs> um, what did you ask? Did I miss her uh, spouting off the her science knowledge? I don't know. You sorry, man. Bit, so. I am sorry it took me so long. Uh, Hanging out with pretty girl, you know what I'm saying? I was hanging out <laughs> with a pretty girl. Yes. Should we? Should we just cover that now? I was hanging. I was here. Let me send you the. Let me send it to you. No, just you're just gonna play it off your phone, baby. All right. So I got an email. Explain, I got yeah. an email today from it is a uh, pretty girl G U R L 1985 at Yahoo. Pretty pretty underscore girl. 1985. It said, and the subject line is the subject line reads, Hi, Michael. Period. Dump carry. Period. The bitch sucks. That is the subject line. And then the entirety of the email text is, and not in a good way. So this person, in my mind, I, I already think is of diminished capacity. That's 
my take. But there's an audio <laughs> file. There's an audio file attached. Oh. Let me see if I can get it to play. Uh, you guys are going to love this. Oh. Let me see if I can get it to play. Uh, you guys Wait, that's us. That's me. That's me. Sorry. Hold on. Cringe. I hate hearing myself back. Sorry, hold on one second. Hi, Michael. No. You need to get rid of the bag. No. She's a worthless, sorry excuse of a woman. I could suck your balls right through your urethra. You'd be quivering more than your wife when she finger fucks herself to rev. I'm sorry you ended up with such a failure for a wife, Michael. You deserve better. Come fill this pussy. Hello, <laughs> so, uh, first, first thoughts when I, when I read it. Damn it, why does it keep going back to that? Um, my first thought was that it's a guy. Because I yeah. have known some sluts, and I have never known one to even speak like that. Do you know what I no. mean? No. Like, that's a guy's way of talking, trying to do what he thinks a guy would want to hear from a girl. A hundred percent. Yeah, exactly, Momo. N a nice AI voice. Right. That was not the person. So my first voice. thought, honestly, was that it was bitch tits or tectonic. Like, either... Bitch tits trying to be tectonic or tectonic trying to impress bitch tits. That's that was my thoughts. Oh, but Soren has a good point. Desperado. Uh, I de <laughs> wow. <laughs> the desperation I mean, is there. I see that is a good point, Soren. The desperation is there. Um, it's real. I it's didn't real. get. I didn't get a. Uh, I didn't get the. Um, what is it that uh, twenty the the victimhood? I didn't get like that that like searing victimhood that twenty one mm. kind of exudes. Um, yeah, but could be. Anyway, all right. So that yeah, made we my have people doing day, guys. <laughs> we have people doing shit like that. Like I just like these people. Uh, I got one sent to me the other day, and it was from a dude, and it was like equally vile. You know what I mean? Like suck my dick blah 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 i'm gonna come in your face blah, blah, blah. like whatever the nastiest thing that you could possibly say to a woman is um and then another one i got a different one <laughs> and literally it was just a toilet bowl full of shit what it was fucking nasty a picture yeah somebody pi sent me a picture of shit <laughs> Damn. So yeah, you know, I gotta do The first with that. one was me. I was just messing with you. Like Oh yeah. People have been doing some crazy shit. And uh I was joking. Like, I got me. an email. Shut up. I got an email, another email, and it was from a church, and it said that they were praying for me and my um because because I had relapsed because my husband um is cheating. <laughs> Because yeah. your husband what? Cheating on you. Oh, cheating on me. And Man. and my anxiety. Having really bad anxiety. They, That's they so crazy. They have... oh, we're here to pray for you after you, you sent us your prayer request. Oh, like, so some I see what it is. Yeah. I mean, they had a lot of that right. Mm -hmm. A lot of that was true. Shut up. You're so full of shit. What are you talking? I mean, I'm running through them hoes. Your jokes are like boring at this point. I'm running through them hoes. The same you know that. thing over and over and over. Switch it up. Switch it up, buttercup. <laughs> Got him. Running through them hoes. You know me. So, yeah. You know, it's like it. it is what it is, though. I think that when you put your... That one, I though, tell me that we weren't, like, pretty hysterical when we were... when that one, that one I just played. Oh yeah, well it, it's the like AI voice and and the fact that that was like, another reason that I thought that like if it was like we don't know people's voices, so why would you have to um, you know, hide your voice if it wasn't like all of it right. just kind of I mean, reeked of shit. It's a guy trying to, to right? It's one thing to catfish somebody with a picture, but you're catfishing with your voice too. Is your voice that bad that you can't like? It, or, uh, oh. Uh oh, what? I hear Noah going off. Damn, sounds like somebody. Hold on a second. I watch. Are we getting swatted or something crazy? Nothing would surprise me at all. 
hold on. Make sure that we don't have a guest at the door. <laughs> okay, it's nobody. I can hear him coming back. We're, it's all good. Noah just thought he heard something. It's probably the deer. When I took Noah out like an hour ago um, in the field next to our house, there's always deer out there, especially when it's like this type of weather in between cold and hot. And he'll see them and bark at them. So he may have, like, he's he sees shit, like, he hears shit too. Like, I mean, all, I'm not, all dogs do it. I can't, I shouldn't be like bragging. Like, he's just, he is amazing. But he that, hears but. shit that is unnat, like, there's no way he could have heard that. That was the the cat was on the side of the porch. Really? And that's what was going on. There I mean, cat, I don't know if a he, cat was out there. Yeah, I don't know if he heard it, saw it, what, but I mean, pretty impressive to me. Yeah, I love it. Except him. it's right in hey, my friggin' ear. Yeah, me too. Now you got. I to was hear hoping it was that our, mail uh, order hooker I got, but <laughs> that'll be later. I honestly, I did kind of um, go back and forth of whether I wanted to, uh, you know, like play it on here, like tell everybody about it or like try to say, oh, my God, where have you been? You know, I've been trying to get away from this bitch and, you know, shit like that. See where it went. But I went this route. <laughs> you know, wait, what? I was going to see if I could like respond and say, oh, um, yeah. You know, please like suck to... my balls through my urethra. Yeah. that. Well, that's what they were, like, hoping and praying, obviously, that, that you would respond in some way. And then they could take that and go and play. Oh, my God. Look at it. Like, But also, I mean, don't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if people fake shit like that. Like, and just, I mean, fake emails or whatever. You never know. Like, yeah. It's hard. You can't really believe a lot of mud, a lot of anything. The good thing is that. After like, after being together for 17 years, it's going to take a little bit more than that kind of shit to uh, so ruffle my feathers. Is what you're saying, are you saying that if you saw an email that somebody said was from me to a whore, that you would not believe that it was really me? Not without, like, proof. All right. Why would I believe that? Now I know. I'm just I'm just glad to know that. Now I can you're an idiot. Random emails are... to whores and... You won't you even believe it's me. Idiot. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Yeah, try it. See what happens. <laughs> How dare you? F around and find out, Caroline. Right? Carrie line. Carrie line. Get it right. F there. around and find out. So did you hear any of this stream that I was playing of theirs from a little while ago when you were when you made me go get sodas? Yeah. Did you no. hear any of it? I did. So I was joking and making fun of them for not having sodas. Oh, got you. Went right over my head. I didn't really go get sodas, jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Um, I think there's a little bit more to this, but it's is it so? Is this boring. the one that was? Is this the one from earlier? Or is this one from tonight? Tonight. Have you played the one from earlier? Yeah, but it's really short. I can play it again in a minute if you want me to. Or did you see it already? I didn't. So the one okay. from tonight is all about them not having sodas and cigarettes? Yes. Pretty much. Shani and Shani's in pain. Oh, God. So. We'll listen to the rest of this one. But I really hate my life. Me too. I really Damn. hate my life. Damn. Damn. And she hates his life, too. I just had therapy not long ago. I, know I don't believe it. Yeah, I'm telling them. Oh. I don't believe it. Didn't and, Rev uh, tell David that he doesn't have a doctor and that Shani's the one that diagnosed him? So that to me says that he doesn't have a therapist. He did say that to David? I thought that's what I somebody told me. Well, shit. I didn't know that. I'll have to get with David and hear the deets. I must have missed it. I, I didn't know that... Um, I thought David was in the chat. Um, I know he was having like uh, equipment problems, like some problems with his computer or whatever. So I thought that's why I hadn't seen him in a while. But I need to go obviously check it out and see what I'm missing. 
I can't remember. In fact, let me grab the uh, link to his channel for everybody real quick. So that you guys can go check him out as well. Let's see. <clears throat> And then that way all of you will be able to go and see what he said as well. Here is the link to David's channel. Um, Dropping that in the chat for you. It, whoever was telling me, like, what did David have him on? Like, was it an interview or did they have No, I think it email? had, right, yeah, I think that it had to do with an email. But I, I didn't know he had, I knew that something, I didn't know that he had, that admitted something that much big shit so i will definitely have to go and check it out gotcha um okay let's finish this one um i feel i feel like some some weeks i feel like it's worth it and other weeks, I feel like, why the fuck am I doing this? It doesn't help me in the long run at all. You know what would help you, Rev? Getting a job. Like, Dude. I just... He hates his life. He doesn't like doing this. But he keeps doing it. And never does anything to change. It, there it has to be why, is it wonders why his life is like it is when it's like dude you have created this life this is what you created and it, and honestly you're doing better than what you deserve for what you created but th this has to be a thing though there has to be something because even if you are brought up in like say a cult or a convent or like you know something off the grid or in an, a non-normal childhood if you don't have what you need like you don't have the basics to live your natural inclination is me fix that me get a job do you know what i mean like even if you don't know that in our society is just the thing that you default to to get a job like what is his disconnect that that is not even i mean as low as they are that is not even a um uh, it's not even a thought in his head i don't understand where that well, comes from because he literally cannot relate to it because he's never had a job but that's what i'm saying like even people who have never worked even people who like you you see it on in society on tv like that is just our that is our society if you want to have things you like denial? where do you learn maybe he's in denial but like so um like so even like uh children of famous people who are rich and don't really need to like they see that if they want things or you know if you lose everything like they know that they they get a job to get the right. basic needs no, I basic know what you're saying. like I know what where you're do you that get the not, it does not that does where does that come from where that doesn't compute i wonder though like is that a I think I mean, it had to do to with me, the way that he was raised. As I, th well. I I agree, but I think that um, it's more than that. I think that it at this point is a choice. Enough people have told him, "Get a damn job, get a job. If you want all this stuff, get a fucking job." Enough people have told him that. I think now it is a choice. He is this. It is. Per, it's a personality trait more than it is, um, you know, not wanting to something like that. Like he just he refuses at this point. Right. He would literally have like a nervous breakdown or something if he worked. Like he cannot. See, I he don't think that hand, he he's he gets on here and almost has a breakdown just doing this. But I, I think that's an act, jeans. I think that like that's what I'm saying. Like at this point, I don't think it's that. I don't think that it's that he can't. I don't think that it's mental or even physical that he can't do it. I think that at this point, it's a choice. He will not because that's what people want him to do or Shani wants him to do or whatever, or he's just lazy. Like at this point, it's a choice. It isn't that he can't physically or mentally or emotionally. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It could have helped me document my medical conditions. My, 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 uh, my, 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 my,
I'll be right back. I'm gonna go heat up some food. That's not what they're. All right, babe. You know, it's fine. I, I, I am like anybody else. So. So, At least you guys. got two sturdy legs. Wow. Yeah, I better. I'm going to need them, aren't I? What does that yeah, mean? I am. Are you, ooh. Is he getting, he's getting you a little lippy. Rough with me. What are you talking about? I'm talking to you, man. You're kind of snappy. I know, I know. I'm just talking to you. Okay. You're not used to this me. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't like them either. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is you. I there is them. no other you. So. As a good ghost. No. It's a miracle that the internet's still on. I know. I'm really surprised at that. I'm uh, not. Maybe midnight tonight. Maybe. I hope. That's probably. Correct. I hope you lose it then. Ghosts. And I love you. But you won't. Love you yeah. Ew. Why? Why do you have to do that? God. That is like a pet peeve of mine. Like, just mute yourself for a second and burp or fart or whatever you need to do. What? Because that person said they were going to help me. Like, Rev. Burp. I'm sure it was stupid anyway. So if this is the new thing. Yeah. They so they dang, dang, dangle yeah. something. Dangle, dangle, dangle a, dangle a fucking banana in front of you. I got your dangle. I don't like it. I don't either. Don't let your dingle dangle dangle in the dirt. Gross. Pick up your dingle oh, dangle, God. put it in your shirt. This I dude you're saying they're going work. through my medical records. <laughs> I know that's bullshit. What else are they saying? Is that it? What? Yeah, Lay down. Yeah. They're going through... <laughs> Who, who's going through your medical records? How can they go through my medical records without signatures of consent? Well, I want to know because your they opinion break on the this. Law. Yeah. Where would can someone go through your medical records without consent? Um, How does yeah, that work? of course. Well, I mean, of course. Like, you well, sign I know things saying doctors that. Doctors and stuff can't. Like, right. How I mean, does that doc... work? Well, if a doctor says that it is medically necessary, then they can pass it on to other colleagues. Um, because you, you sign, but what I mean, I'm that talking is consent. about is a random person. Can a random person get their hands on her medical records? And if they do and share them, could they get in trouble for that? Um, I bet you that it would be hard to, but that isn't a HIPAA violation because HIPAA only, uh, I mean, it would be a privacy violation probably, but HIPAA only pertains to medical um, professionals, right? Yeah. Medical professionals. Okay. That makes sense. But I don't think that, I mean, I would say that it would be difficult. The only way I could see that it happening is if Shani got a copy of her medical records and then left them, you know, and then like maybe G-Man got them and like put them out or was just stupid with them and did it herself. Yeah. Which I wouldn't put past her. Oh, the knitting gamer says, "Hey, all, I get a bio. I have to get a biopsy next week because my mammogram has something in it. Can I please get some good wishes? I am and you look scared. Um, can we get some hearts in, in the chat for the knitting gamer? And if you do pray, maybe pray. And if you don't pray, you just you know can send good thoughts and healing vibes. Then do that. Um, and I hope that uh, everything. I'm sure you know, it will be fine. Back fine." Um, but I understand that that's got to be something really scary to go through. No kidding. And I will definitely uh, keep you in my prayers. For sure. Would they go to go through? To if they know somebody that's in the medical field, that would be willing to do it for them. Absolutely. Look, the Nitty yeah, Gamer, well, Jim Jones is praying for you. Who would be doing that. Oh, that's so sweet. You don't get it, Jim <laughs> Jones? The... Baby, I, that's why I was saying that's so sweet. <laughs> See, Sweet, like, I, I just default to, oh, 
I just default to you being dumb now and not getting it, so. I just default to you being an asshole. So, there we, uh, like that's we that's why we things. work. That's why we work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's highly mm-hmm. illegal, oh, and the yeah. nurse and the nurses and doctors <laughs> know they would get fired for oh, that grrr. and lose their license. Oh, but it's you. And, and get it's thrown you, in jail. I, I understand oh my God. that. But it's you. They're not going to yeah, throw someone well, in jail. They can't you dipshit. Get medical records without consent. Period. But they're not going to throw you in jail for it. No, that's not how that. Well, and that wouldn't even, in regards to like your doctor, or whatever. They, they wouldn't go to jail. They would get sued, right? That's right. It would be that like would some. Work. It would be like a license issue. Like it's not right. even a criminal issue. Right. Okay. Period. Period. Oh my God! I just hit my elbow so hard. Are you all right? I think I might be dying. That is the calmest pain I've ever, like, you're just like, I just. It's just because I'm so tough. So I'm just so hard. tough. Normally, I would be like, ah! <laughs> Wait, do that again? You'd be like, what? No, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Shouldn't have done it the first uh, time. Oh my god, that was so funny. Now that'll be clipped. <laughs> <and then. laughs> Hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> I did not sound like that. Oh, yes, you did. I know I sounded cringy, but not like that. Oh, yes, you did. It was what like, mean. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I see, I can't even do it without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And moving on. Very hardwired established law. My fingers are numb. Are you having a stroke? No, I hit my elbow, dum dum. Are you sure you're not having a stroke? I'm about to have a stroke. You know, that's how my brain works. I'm about to have a stroke of good luck. Elbow pain and whoop. stroke. What? I'm being stupid. You're so yeah, weird. they wouldn't even like. I need a. I need a talk about you know i need i need the files of shannon <laughs> little miss stubborns and carrie only moans when michael's in pain watch that become a thing what's funny about oh that, how true little miss that stubborn is. is that well i i don't moan but i laugh like i have a really really hard time not laughing when even yes thinking about it makes Dude. me kind of start to laugh and I, I stub my so I, bad. I will feel so bad, but I cannot help it. Like literally, can't help it. I it kicked the door jam. <laughs> I kicked the door jam the other morning, and it was so god. I kicked it so hard. I literally, I thought my toe was gone. I thought I lost a fucking toe, and I am like, <laughs> what? I, it hurt so bad. And she, you would have thought she. She couldn't breathe. She was laughing so hard. It oh, was. I'm my like, God. at least you checked on me first. She didn't. He just the things that he does sometimes. Like it's the way that he like the rope swing thing where he was putting up a tire swing for Jackson, and he gets it all like tied into the tree and everything, and then backs up, takes a running start to jump on this tire swing to show Jackson like. Here we go. And it literally, he jumps on it and it he just went boom straight to the fucking ground, right on his back. And it was hilarious. Um like, but it was like it was at everything. its apex. I was at the epogee of the swing, like as far out as it could swing, and then the swing broke and I went flying. And I mean, right on my back, like that hurt knocked the wind out of me. Mm-mm. And she was cackling. At least she didn't break it like some other people, you know. I was a lot. Fell yeah. out of the swinging program. <laughs> <laughs> I was a lot younger than it back then. My body was a lot more uh, toy, like a toy guy. Oh, Very my God. Toy. Okay, back to this video. I don't even. I, th- I feel like I was about to say something and I can't remember what it was, so. It probably wasn't very good. Probably not, I guess. 
do you have a consent form? <laughs> like, who are they going to go to? Oh, yeah, I, I know what it was. I wanted to oh tell another God. story about when you got hurt. <laughs> oh, when I broke the chair? Yes, you tell that one. How, how about that? Um, everybody was, yeah, it was Thanksgiving. Everybody was here. Grandparents, parents. I mean, everybody was there and we have these chairs and they're just basic wooden like kitchen chairs. And one of them, like one of the pieces that held it together, I mean, it had been loose. Like I'm not a fat ass that broke a chair, but it had been loose. I had tried to glue it back together and I go to sit in this chair. I sit in it. It feels like it's going to hold me and then it crumples, but it's not just. You did not just sit in it uh, once again, like the tire swing. You kind of plop yourself down because yeah, it was like something plop. in a I funny plop. movie, in a comedy movie, or like a cartoon. Like the way that he did it, like it was just like boom, boom to the right. ground. My butt hits this the is... chair, <laughs> and then the chair, like I, out of like protest, it it just collapsed. And I don't even yeah. know. In front of my whole family and everybody. And he had food. He was holding a plate. So, of course, that kind of went everywhere. And I. And granddad was just like, it. he was just, yeah. <laughs> I fucking lost it. Was it. Funny. What about when I fell on the skateboard? Remember that? Oh, wait. Not I don't know that, that you were out there. I was going to say, that one doesn't stick out in my mind. You only saw the aftermath. <laughs> yes, granddad saw. Well, he was sitting right next to me, and he was just, like, looking down at me. <laughs> yeah. He probably didn't know what to think. I think he was well, trying not to laugh, he too. Was probably, he was probably trying to help you. No, I'm surprised Grandmother, too, would, would be, like, spanking me. Don't don't you laugh at him. <laughs> she would have defended you. I don't remember if she was in there or not, but, um, yeah. we've had, He's done some... Uh, Funny stuff, I guess. Not funny to him, but funny. To you don't go for almost two decades without some shit happening. Do you remember when you broke the bed? Of course I remember when I broke I mean, come on, girl. Do you think I don't remember when I broke the bed? He I broke the bed a broke many a time. I broke it a many bed. a time. I knew you were going to. Right as soon as I was saying that, I knew that. I broke it a few time. times. Another time. So he's, you know, comes into the room. I used to do this thing. the bedroom. When we used to, the apartment we lived in years ago now, um, the way our bedroom was set up, I could jump from, I would, I would pretend, I would pretend that the floor was lava and I would have to jump from the doorway to the bed and not touch the floor. And it was a long distance. So I would, it would be like, I would, I felt like I was flying through the air. He would and take so- a fucking <laughs> sprint, a running sprint. And jump and dive like he's going to j- jump into a pool or something. And he did uh, sometimes it one time. I would do like a, a jackknife or um, it was funny. But and annoyed one time me I landed. Every time annoyed me every time. But then one time he it broke landed. The box spring. And as soon as he hit the bed, we just hear it go snap and go down in the middle. Yep. And then it was. <laughs> and then it was done. <laughs> then it was done. You killed the bed. You got her new bed out of it. Yeah, thank goodness. But Dude, I honestly a nice bed, ma- nice mattress and bed. I was just I about to say, it. like, I don't know how we. I don't think we could not Fit have a king one, mattress. One like that. Yeah, yes, that was dude. a queen. I need you at least like three arms distances away from me at all times. Shut up! But it, it is funny, like when you're like younger and you're in a relationship and that you know you haven't been in that and necessarily that right long, you want to be around you're and always like ass. cuddling and oh and making over each other and shit so like then it's like it's okay kind of that it doesn't bother you that you're when would uh, you say that ended for you right next it was about 6 months for me <laughs> <laughs> um let's see I think that, well, maybe after we got married? Shit. What? It lasted that fucking long? Um, yeah. Maybe. Wow. Anyway. Yeah, what you're saying. Moving on. Yeah. It's bullshit. Oh, David, David says, Rev sent me 
uh, DMs a couple of weeks ago confessing that he is lying about all the stuff he has said about being unable to work and being mentally unfit for a human life. Um, did somebody was telling me, David, that he said he doesn't have a doctor and that Shani diagnosed him? Is that true? Um, let's see. Yep, saw it, David. It's true. Yes, it was him. So we definitely need to go back and watch that. Yeah. So that we can see everything that was said. Do you, um, well, let David, if you want, let me grab a link to that. I already dropped a link to David's channel. I'm going to drop another one. Um, so you guys, if you're curious about this as well, I was going to say I could cover it on here, but I don't want to like take views away from David. Um, so I'll just say you guys go over there and give him a link. I uh, give him a sub and like on it and uh, watch it over there. Get him a, give him a view instead of me. Cause um, since he's, it's his and he put his work into it. So can you hear me chewing and eating? Yes, please stop. Well, I mean, I just don't, I don't want to, I want to be respectful of that person who told me don't ever do right. it again. That's so don't do it. Right. I'm trying to get my woman. Mute. I mean, I just was going to say how absolutely. Need I punish you on stream? Oh, yeah, right. Patentedly ridiculous they know it that's is a that a group of people would say, let's go through someone's medical records. I don't care all. what they know. Unless we're talking you know. about something like, you know, JFK because he had Addison's disease and everybody wants to know about JFK and, and his history. That I would get. But some just person from the internet that makes YouTube videos, let's go through their medical records. What's absolute psychopaths? Well, it's also highly illegal. Yeah. I don't that think don't it's illegal in the way that If you're, you're committing fraud this. based on what you say is in your medical records, they'll be subpoenaed to court when people sue your ass. So... Oh really? Then, and then what? That becomes public record or what? No, no, no. I'm I'm sure it would still be in oh, some okay. sort of closed proceeding. Okay. All of it was illegal. True. Falsely calling police on us to get us kicked out of our apartment. Totally illegal. But it's awesome, just David. Fine thank you. It's the internet. I appreciate that. I just want some soda. <laughs> Oh my Dude, gosh. she is so. My God. What a child. Sodi. I just want some Sodi. Speaking of. What? Well. <laughs> gonna have me some Sodi. What was it? Somebody was saying something. I don't remember where I heard it, but they were saying something about us and saying, like, how. I just like order you around when I'm on streams. I'm like, bring me a soda and bring me this or that. Like, like when did I don't remember? Like maybe a couple of times I asked you to grab me a drink or something, but like always not a lot. Not a lot, a lot. I bet Pretty Girl 1985 would never order me around. She would never do that. Well, she's sucking my nice balls too. through my urethra. Okay, stop it. Does that honestly like? <laughs> That, who does gets, that, like, sound? that makes me like, Ugh. I know. Who does that sound right fucking now. appetizing to? I don't know. That sounds painful. And I don't have balls, but that seems like it would be painful to me. I don't like who thinks that I can. Oh, my God, dude. That to <laughs> me has never been like women who use like over overtly sexual like language and stuff has never been a thing for me. Like to me, I. Oh, it's almost the opposite. Like, it's a turn off for me. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the chat for a second. Reading. David sent a link, so I wanted to are, grab it. Are you but... saying that you weren't paying attention to me and you were ignoring me? Because, uh, yeah, kind of I'm pretty used to for, it. For a second. Just for a second. Um, anyway, I apologize. At least I admitted it. Now, what were we talking about? <laughs> Um, so I think sucking my balls through my oh, urethra. Oh, don't say it that... again. <laughs> God. Well, I don't, like, is that that, like, the words I aren't, like. I, that, 
Yes, I don't like that. I don't He's... like it. That's it's like very aggressive. I know, dude. Yeah, it's too much, and especially like at. Oh my god, it's just too much. Yeah, too just much. a little clue if you're trying to get Michael. He doesn't. He's not into like aggressive uh, types of chicks. He likes the girly girls. So, just saying. Got me there. Well, that ain't gonna happen at all now because it's past. Who, I, you know what I hate? This is just a side <laughs> rant or whatever. But I hate women that like or chicks. And I guess it could go either way, sex wise. But that pretend to like be into something that they really hate to try because they think that that's gonna make them look cool to to opposite sex, like a girl like that's sports? really into foot. Yeah. Yes. And things dude. like that. It's like, why? Like I don't. I don't understand why people, and I mean, I've done it before in the past, so I'm not like, I, I will admit I've done something like that before in the past. Um, and it's like, why? You know what I mean? Cause well, not, I, like, you don't have to have a fucking agree on everything and like the same things. Well, and I was all just going to say that though, but, but that knowledge, knowledge of that comes with, um, experience and time and being comfortable with somebody like, and that, like everyone wants to be, everyone naturally thinks that the more I have in common with this person, the more they will like me. That is just what you naturally think. But it doesn't the, work like that. Right. The truth couldn't be more. I don't think opposite. it's necessarily opposites attract either. No, I just think it, that I don't it's think that there is, there is not a rule that works for everything. Right. It's a balance. And, yeah. uh, you, but it's also, it it's a one size time. fits all. Right. So, anyway, let's finish this video. No, We're talking it's not too yet. much. Okay. Well, if somebody would like to hook us up with a little bit of, God, why say it? Why even say it? Why say it? A good question. Um, you already know where you can give. So, if you wanted to, you could. Go into the description of our page. Yeah. You could if you wanted to. That would be nice. Stop it. That would be a huge blessing. Oh. And we're always What was grateful. she doing? Always. Act like she hurt him. I guess. Uh. Why even say it? But I'm sure you're going to say it. Of course. I'm really sick of this pain level. Oh my god, dude! That does she that is... doesn't even that doesn't really even sound like somebody in pain to me. No, honestly. fuck no. Like she's that was so calm and nonchalant. I'm really not liking this pain level. Like, girl, stop! You are not fooling anyone. I really am. Really, am, I really guys. am. Oh. If you're in the level of pain that she describes, you are not that nonchalant about it. It's funny, though, that you mentioned what we were talking about earlier. Like, maybe that's the reason she makes the noises that she makes when she's, like, claiming she's in pain because she thinks that makes her look sexy or something. Because that's what it sounds like. It doesn't sound like somebody in pain. It sounds like somebody having sex. Well, Ooh. I don't know what weird sex you've been having, but the I think that <laughs> it's an act, right? Yeah. She isn't actually in pain, but she's trying to put off what she thinks is pain but she doesn't she has no basis for that she has no nothing to pull from to say like this is what i sounded like when i was in that pain so she's just doing her best and her best is some <laughs> ridiculous version of moaning you know yeah she's not a good actress no my feet are swollen my legs are swollen everything my hips are swollen. Rev said everything is swollen. Like very true, Rev. Very true. It's just not That's the called reason that she claims. Fat. <laughs> Probably my back. I don't know how to I, I can't see my back, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> but it's like my legs feel like a really bad cavity. 
What? Except it's in your legs, not in your mouth. Her legs That's are like a cavity? Where the joints yeah. are. That is the weirdest way that I've ever heard anything like that explained. Like, what? Like a cavity. I don't even understand the reference. I mean, I guess it just aches. Wow. I, mean, I don't know. Each point. I mean, to be fair, Shani has probably had quite a few cavities. So, that's probably why she's Again, it. it's an act and she has no other basis for, like, what the pain is like. But her teeth are jacked up. So, I'm sure she's just saying, you know, it's like right. that. Yeah. Probably. So, you got the ankles and they're raising hell like a cavity. I got my knees and they're raising hell like a cavity. My hips. And my cavity. back. Cavity. And I'm at the point now. Another cavity. I just... I don't know. You don't know. Better figure it out. I'd say it, but I don't want the police to come. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> Wait, what? I'll say it, but I don't want the police to come? What was she going to say? She was. She said, I would say, yeah. She's like something about, um, you know, euthanasia again or something, I'm sure. But... Here's so the, the fact thing. that she's sitting there chuckling about that just shows right. that it's complete right. shit. Like, but what also, is funny about that? if you were in that severe of pain where that's, you know, your quality of life was to the point you were t thinking of that, um, you have to believe that with Medicaid in this day and age, you would go, you know, just go to the emergency room and they would say, you have Medicaid, you have good insurance, we're going to admit you, you know. You cannot live like this anymore. They don't do that because you're full of shit. Right. <laughs> and laughing like that just proves it to me. Yeah. Like it's not a joke. No, we're legitimately in the same boat at, 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 with that. With that uh, sentiment. Ugh. So, they're legitimately in the same boat with that sentiment. That is not These healthy. people are that fuck, is like, toxic as fuck, and you're manipulating your audience, or yes. you're trying to. But if they ever even start getting to the point where they're trying to get the kids back, someone needs to show CPS this, because people who even joke about being in that kind of a mindset should not be responsible for others. No. And, I mean, in the fact that they're both doing it's just, it's sick in a lot yeah, of different it, ways. Well, it's really, it's, yeah. But it's if it was up. really that bad and they were really, like, do you really, do you really think they'd be sitting there laughing? They wouldn't. But if it were that bad, it's something at that some they're point, saying because they want people to feel so bad that they're going to give them money. Right. They, <laughs> she just wants a sody. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Dude, earlier did she say that she drinks a gallon and a half of water a day? Didn't she, she did, say that? Yeah, she's full of shit. Dude, when I'm at work, like during the summer and stuff, I would uh, take a gallon jug, you know, and I would like push water, like trying to, you know, stay hydrated and just drink as it. It has actually took effort to drink a gallon of water for me, you know, throughout the day. And that was with, I would drink nothing else because, like, my stomach would start sloshing. I was drinking so much. There is no fucking way that she's drinking a gallon and a half of water and, and then also sodas. There, there's no fucking way. No. Um, on a side un, uh, related topic, but no, I, didn't, no I, don't want to forget, I don't want to forget about it. It's just real quick. <laughs> I don't know if any of you, a lot of you probably have um, and know about Tammy Slayton. Which is, she's a sister of, um, God, what is her name now? The Slayton sisters. I, Tammy and, and I can't think of the sister's name. Y'all will know it, though, and tell me. Damn, it's not Amanda. What is it? Amy? Amy, Amy, Amy. Okay, so it's Amy and Tammy. Anyway, Tammy, the sister, was just arrested for marijuana possession, apparently. So she in trouble. What? She, where she does she live? Where are you getting arrested for it? Still, I think Kentucky is where they live. Wow. I could be wrong though. You doxing jerk! You letting the people know where the Slaytons live. 
Yeah, she was arrested though, guys. I can pull it up if you want me to. Um, David, I'm good. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. David said, since Rev lied about being diagnosed, how could he have stories being in a mental institution with dates and an ex escape attempt story just like mine? Very right. good question. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, if he was thank making you, up and Shani diagnosed him, then how does he have a therapist? Like, based on what? You know, like, uh, none of it adds up at all. Right. It's all and bullshit. like if if all of it's bullshit, he's not diagnosed with anything, then what medicine is he on and how come like why is she blaming kicking the kid on a med change if he's not taking any medicine because he's not under the care like not like the whole thing you pull that that thread and the whole thing unravels, you know what I mean? Mm hmm <laughs> Nina said Amy is the big one. Um, um no no, I think is... Jamie's the big one. Oh, I thought it was a joke because they're both huge. Like, is there a they are, big but one? I think Amy lost quite a bit of weight. I mean, I think Tammy has as well now, but she's always been the bigger of the two of them. There is a I'm big one? That's saying. funny. That's oh yeah. Hilarious. Tammy was quite a bit bigger than Amy. What? Aren't they twins? No. Nope. Wow. And you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the thousand pound, what is it, two ton sisters or whatever? Thousand pound sisters, yeah. But I'm, she's the one that had the like the fat forehead. Half a ton of fun. Fat hey, forehead. Oh I'm yeah, not, yeah. Hey, I'm thing. not hating on anybody's forehead because look at my forehead, right? If but it gets any bigger, that's what it's to start doing. Hers. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. All right, I'm moving on. I'm not even gonna go there. But yeah, she was arrested. Um. I mean, it sounds like a very sm small charge. I think it's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully, maybe she can get it dropped or something like that. But because I feel bad for her as well. She um, got married not that long ago to another guy that was really overweight and stuff like her. I think she met him in like a rehab place. That and bitch. She's the only. The guy died? Freaking, yeah, the husband. He died. Um, huh? I can't remember exactly what happened, but it was complications from being that overweight damn she's so the only she's person trying to go through that you know what i mean and so i don't blame her for smoking weed you know what i mean she's the only person with a fupa and a fufa a fat upper forehead area <laughs> you had to think long about that one didn't you i just had to wait for you to shut up so i could say it <laughs> <laughs> uh... oh my god you started at a <clears throat> Uh. Oh God! I. I'm gonna oh, they're saying who that. died? It was um Tammy Slayton got married to this guy. I believe she met him in like a in a physical rehabilitation place after getting I don't know. Was he big or, too? Yes, he was. You know, huge, big as her. And uh, they got married. <laughs> yeah, huge, big as her. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded that bad. Um, they got married pretty quickly, I think, into the relationship. But I mean, I don't know. Did he even pass? I think he passed away like within like a year of getting married or something. Damn. Really, really heartbreaking. Um, so, yeah. Poor thing. I feel bad for her. Hopefully, I mean, that's, yeah, that's drop sad the no matter what. And yeah, I mean, especially if it's just like a personal small amount of weed. Hopefully that they can just get that. Well, even out. in Kentucky, like even in a place where it's not legal, it's still been decriminalized in most places. So it's just surprising that you would get arrested for it unless it's a large amount. Terry saying Tammy was arrested right after her husband died uh, for pot. So is this going to be her second arrest then? Because this is making it sound like this just happened. Now, if it's the second time, she might be in. Maybe trouble. you're, maybe you're reading an old. Um... No, it came it came across the ticker of like, you know. Uh, this is Tammy that oh. Latest. This what? is Tammy that got arrested. I can't see. What are you What are you talking about? No, I'm I'm asking you. Are you saying that the one you were reading was Tammy? Yes. Have you she seen was... her? Yes. Um. Since the weight loss, is that what you're talking about? She needs to put the weight back on. Stop it. She looks like don't be mean. Uh, she looks like a hairless cat. Well, she 
Stop it. She, um, I think she Jesus uses Christ. like filters and stuff a lot, so it makes her look a little bit weird. That's probably that might be what you're talking about. Is it like a filter that makes her look kind of weird? I, she looks like a hairless Sharpe. You are so cruel. That is bad. Like, I don't you're understand. Mean. How you're is mean. the body? Do I can't. That? I feel bad for them. Unlike Shani, I don't think. Well, although Tammy could be quite a little biatch oh, at times, but I don't know. I have. I, I kind of feel bad for them. I feel bad to make fun of them. So that's just me. I'm I don't. I don't. I, I don't clearly, clearly, you are brutal. Sitting up does not help me. Laying down doesn't really help much either, but... Dude, my god. What? I think I just want to go to bed. She's too much. To be honest. I hear ya. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. No, oh, you be sorry. Oh shit, Omni. Uh, David, I don't think Omni knows. I don't think Omni knows about that stuff. Uh, David, yes, Omni. Uh, Rev and Shanny basically stole David's like childhood, like the story about Shanny's mom dislocating um, her shoulder. That was David's. Like all of the shit, all of the, the stuff that they said happened to them. Her mostly. That was david's actual history i don't i don't think uh, omni wasn't i just don't think he knew about it david he i don't think he was trying to did you see what um like omni was saying to david What's that? no what did he say well he was just like uh do you think um you know they were using your your story and david was like david was like uh omni no shit like but i think that <laughs> i don't think omni knew that oh that part of the story you know got you yeah, I don't think he did either. <clears throat> I know. Yeah, I don't think Omni knew that, David. Yeah, he didn't. What is that that we're looking at right there under the fan? A ring light. No. That's what that is? Mm -hmm. It's about time to do that. Totally different. Okay, so that's the end and that of that was that. Mm-hmm. And you saw what the is that? You didn't see the picture. Where are her knees? They're swollen. That's they disappeared from swollen. swelling. Apparently, is that what she says? When your yeah. legs are swollen and bitch, that ain't swollen. You fat. It's you fat swole. girl. You fat. Pretty swole. Damn. Um, all right, while I'm pulling up these that thigh some, gap, though, I've got some recordings to play for you guys tonight, okay? Gene, you didn't hear that? That, that was like. fucking hilarious. My bad, I'm doing two things at once right now, trying to pull stuff up. Um, when one thing is too much for you, since you didn't see this, I'm gonna let this play really quick. This is just a short video from earlier from Rev I... while I'm pulling up these um messages that I'm gonna play for you guys. Do, 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 do. Does he have just like perpetually chapped lips? Yeah, it go? seems like it. I'm pulling up something, baby. So you gotta give me a second. I'm not a baby. Hey that guys, weird. what's up? You um, pain in the ass. I know that. <laughs> I'm just doing a quick uh, prayer request video for Shanny. Oh, God. Um, her health condition is so bad, guys. Like, oh, Jewel Gray says this live is about up, me. Guys? Just putting that out there because I, I wouldn't couple. send them money when they wanted. Really? That's funny. I'm pretty wow. sure that who was the other or somebody else who um, who was saying that? Who was it? 
anyway, yeah, I think that there was probably a couple people that denied them the money they wanted. And I love yeah. it. Yeah. See, yeah. that's what I that's what I never really got. Like when people were saying that they were sending the money to troll them and shit like that. Like their content is so much better when they're doing without and begging and pissed and shit instead of when they have everything and are smug. Yeah, well, a lot of times when they have everything, they don't even come on. Right. I mean, this right. Is, you know, then again, though, then again, when they do get really fucked up, they tend to come on then as well. So. But it's just not I as good, you know? It's a little, well, it's a lot more irritating because they have everything that they want and they clearly are right. on cloud nine because they have drugs in their system. Um, but they are talkative and shit then and tend to uh, stream at those times as well. The problem is the majority of their life is just spent not having enough, like having a little bit, but not having enough. So they just stay perpetually in that kind of uh, cycle and spin and, and do this same little song and dance over and over and over yeah. and over and over, even though they hate it, claim to hate it, you know, they won't do anything different. Shabuya, so. Shabuya, Shabuya roll call. Uh, literally, that's all this is for, is just uh, to request some prayers for Shani, because uh, the Christians praying really do work, you know. Christian prayer works. Give it a so, few hours uh, and you'll be... Yeah, her, her health is so bad. Your tune. There's like, there's no words for it. Like, she belongs in a rehab place, to be honest. You have that's, Medicaid. That's if a doctor believed for. that, she would be there. Exactly. Chapstick, huh? Oh! Uh, Somebody said it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. My you know that's from though, like, because like, you know? know he doesn't go outside. Like, it's from dehydration. Well, yeah. Even though they claim that they're drinking all that water, <laughs> right? Drinking a gallon and a half of water a day. But your <laughs> lips. Ew. Well, I could say something really nasty right now, but I'm gonna. I'm lips gonna look like it. a dry desert floor. Mm hmm. Thank you. He's not Thank getting you, enough nutrients out of Shani Squirt. Uh, uh, Lewis. What the I wasn't fuck? gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. And then but I then you did. It. Yes. Yes. Right. But yeah, that's it. what this is for. I'm just coming on to say that. Squirt. And squirt. I can't make it. Then I'm going Ew. away. I wanted to actually <laughs> save the video though. That's stupid. You do like less than a minute video or something on Instagram, and it just. Whatever. Yeah, the change of weather is always painful. That's right, Stacy. It's yeah. your influence, Omni. Um, <laughs> it makes our... Like, I know from my other... Um, they won't do anything for at the hospital, man. Well, High then there's well. nothing... What's up? What, then what's the problem? But I thought... He said she needs to be in a rehab, so, but they won't do anything for her in the hospital. But Delta 8 fixes her? Like, that. make that make that sense, That makes bro. no sense. That makes absolutely no sense that the hospital wouldn't be helping her. Yeah. If they aren't, right? If she's going and not getting anything from, from there, getting whatever help that she thinks she deserves or whatever, that tells me that either something about her story is not lining up and they're not finding enough wrong with her to need to do anything. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm out of smokes. You're right about that. <laughs> How'd you know? That's why I, really you can read me pretty shit. good. If you can read that, I don't feel too good because I don't have smokes, June. That's pretty amazing. Is it though? Not I explained really. this earlier. Like, right. You literally, you guys are always out of cigarettes, right? You're always on here whining and shit about it like it's happened so many times and now here you are again and you look bummed out and you're needing prayer right which everybody knows what prayer really means to you guys so is it that aka somebody to be that observant to see that you probably were in a bad mood and needed cigarettes yeah i mean it's it's not that much of a stretch like that doesn't take a psychic to figure that out but hey Rev thinks that this is like this person's looking at his soul. How you doing, Beanswell? 
They just call you Bean. No. How about not? So yeah, if you guys could just send up some prayers and and yeah, you want to send smoke money, you can absolutely do that if you can. <laughs> I, I very much it's just, just prayers, that. just prayer. But if you want to send smoke and money, and if you did, you could send you could send it. You have a pack? Well, that's awesome, but I I can't exactly get it from you. I'm not sure where you're at. I don't think they're offering it, dipshit. Uh, cash app. I, I'll just give you the cash app because everything else is like whatever. You mean negative? It's this one. You want to drop me some smoke money? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I just, I'm requesting prayer, and I saw that a couple of you guys said already that you're sending them up, so we appreciate that. What's wrong with her? What's not wrong with her? She's fat. What's <laughs> not wrong with her? Wow. <coughs> oh, thank you, Bean Slow. You're the shit. You're awesome. Oh. Uh I, I uh -oh. just posted it in there, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send it to you. Jewel hey, that's Joel Gray. Hey, thank you. Huh? You're awesome. And you guys are awesome, too, for sending up prayers. We need prayers, like, real bad, you know? Uh, Is it being slow I'm debating. Being should I tell slow? you about what has been going personal, or should I not? And... If I told you what happened, then, you know, everybody would just dogpile and be like, yeah, yeah, see, we told you. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go personal with myself because it's not worth it. God bless you guys. Jesus is king. And just keep up the prayers. I love you. Miss Fribbit, God bless you. Love you. Take care. Wowie, wowie. That was great. Dude, his mouth is just like, it creeps me out. Dude, those let like that. Oh my god, bro, that looks like so hello. weird. Hello. Um. All right. Like guys, it, so. that doesn't look like it doesn't look like that should be possible for. Oh god, that is weird. But it is possible. Someone needs to come and trim them hooves. Okay. So look at next. that fucking toe, dude. What is wrong with that shit? What? Like, look at her big toe. Like, doesn't it almost look like it? It does look swollen. No, I it mean, looks like I... it. Like, it looks like it hangs a right. The one on the right. It oh looks like yeah, it... I think and it the might other be the way she's a Louis. holding her legs up. Like, she's probably having to like literally like hold her leg up to do that. That is so kind of. great. You know, she doesn't do no leg lifts. The other day, they were bragging about how she's so flexible, and Rev can put her right. right. Her <laughs> like if you can do that, then your arthritis oh, ain't that my bad, God. My girl. That's Dude, all I'm saying. If she can put those legs behind her head, that means her leg is like two feet behind her head just to get past the fat. <laughs> I don't think she Stretch can do that. Stretch arms strong. Do you yeah. remember? Do you remember Mr. Hayes? Yes. He was a big guy but he could walk down the uh like walk you know down the aisle of desks and throw his leg up over somebody's head oh yeah so, I mean, big people can be flexible i, I just don't think she talking is about that um all right so next what we're gonna do i got something kind of special for you guys um, we're going to be playing some recordings that Shani sent to me, some voice recordings from her. And, um, there's quite a few. We're not, not gonna new play. though. No, they're not new. This is going to be from the, when Rev was in jail. So, um, I've got some other ones too, but I'm not going <laughs> to play those tonight. The only thing that I'm playing tonight is going to be, con it's going to be recordings that started the night that Rev went to jail and ended the day that he got out of jail. So in a two, it's a two week period. Um, and it's some started, of them I hadn't heard. It started on June eighth of twenty twenty two. Um, yeah. Well, it, I it I hadn't went through them all until just very recently. I didn't realize there was as many as there are. So yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna turn this volume up some. 
let me know, make sure everybody can hear what I'm playing in a minute. It happened last night, Carrie. They're idiots. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They really don't, especially since Rev was on. Oh, just to clarify about this, they're talking, she's asked, talking about people not knowing what they're talking about because I had said to her, um, did you, did he get arrested tonight or last night? Because the police report, I guess, said something different. When people I remember pulled up that. the police report, the police report had it being like four days earlier or something. So I tried to ask her about that. That's what she's referring to here. live streaming yesterday that pretty much proves that he was home but like i wouldn't listen to the rumor meals they're just proving that they're straight up fucking liars at the end of the day you want to do me a favor what's that put anything on the screen except her legs thank you i was reading your mind i think <laughs> See, that's how well we know each other. You don't know me. All right, next one. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them, but, like, they like to exploit the tragedies of others for views and money. And they skew their reality into these distorted lies and exaggerations and I never understood why they would act that way, but they do. And it's absolutely disgusting that they act this way toward people because it's like, I never did anything to these people. Um, and I have no reason to lie about anything. Um, Jesus. You know, Jason's sick. Jason needs therapy. She's already I, starting to... I think I'm going to stop loving him and caring Run that game. I will love and care. Yeah, listen to this one. Like, I don't think I'm going to stop loving him and caring for him. I will love and care for Jason. No matter what, he's sick. He needs help. And this is a good, a good way how he can finally wake up and get the help he needs. And, you know, I, I know when you go to jail for stuff like this, they also will like force you to get like treatment, which is what he needs, you know? And at the same time, like, I know at the same time I have like, like as soon as I said this stuff, now I have a bunch of men like sniffing up my pants <laughs> and I'm like, what? Bro. I'm not into that type of stuff. I just like, I just want to chill. And relax and just try to oh my God. move forward the best I can. She's she gotta beat the men off with a stick. Man. They're sniffing. They're sniffing around. They're sniffing her out now that she is uh freshly single, apparently. Um sounds like pretty girl pretty girl nineteen eighty five type of stuff. <laughs> oh god. So, um, yeah, she was already with the, uh, making excuses for him and shit and like trying to blame it on the medication and shit. But just keep in mind as we go through all this, the way that she starts this and the first, you know, bit of this, she's very supportive actually of him kind of, well, but it doesn't stay that way. It turns yeah. and it turns drastically. And uh, that's when it really gets good. But just for context, I'm playing all of it from when he got arrested. So you guys know everything that she said to me about it. Because there are some things that, you know, are interesting. Um, all right. Let's see. The next one. Well, I know I don't hate him. You know, I feel bad for him right now. My heart goes out to him because I know. Can y'all hear it okay? It's a little low, but I can hear it. I'll turn it up more then. 
it's not truly him it's his disease and it just it it tears me up because i love him so much and i i took so much responsibility over the years taking care of him and making sure he's okay because like i know he's alone i know he doesn't have anyone but he can't treat people like this and he needs to learn not to do these things. And I don't know how else to do it other than separating from him and allowing him to figure his own ass out. <laughs> I just turned off exo can- echo cancellation. Did it change the way it sounded? Um, it not better? to me. Is it better or n- nothing different? Not to me. Um, hold on. Joel Gray says, how can I expose the messages? Please give me your email so I can post the messages. I will give you my email right now, Joel. One second, Ooh, you guys. know, Steven said, Shani's poems are hanging in the Library of Congress. Maybe we could get Bitch Tits uh, poem in there with him. Moments. Ooh. Just Moments. There we go. I just dropped it in the chat for you, hun, and thank you. And I look forward to uh, talking to you more. All right, let's dive back into this. Let me turn it back up. Yeah, I think it's good for him too. Like the times I sat there in jail, I, I ended up realizing the shit I did was horrible and realizing like i need help i need what therapy. i thought she was wrongfully i need i need arrested. i need to fix myself you know and i did i really did help myself and you know i've learned not to be as reactive as i used to be i learned shit how to not <laughs> engage That's in violent tendencies because you know, that happens when you've been abused as a child is you pick up the same behaviors your parents have and it usually takes someone telling you you have a problem and you going through, you know, a downward spiral before you actually get the help you need. And at the same time, I know a lot of people are expecting me to hate him, but it's like, they forget my past that I was a home health care worker toward people with mental illness and I can't hate someone who's suffering themselves. I can't hate someone who has a mental illness. Why? And because I understand because I have one and I've gone through it, you know, myself, you know, I had to learn this stuff myself the hard way, you know, so, like, I can't hate him because, again, I know it's not him. It's his mental illness. And I just pray to Christ. He gets the help he needs and he becomes the man that God wanted him to be. Because I do. And Damn, she's boring. Love him with all my heart and soul. I love that. Like... But back to what you said, yeah, the main focus is to get in him help. And I know I said I was going to get a restraining order, but, like, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. I don't know what the right thing to do is. Like, can you pray for me that God will give me the answers that I need? And give give Jason the answers he needs and help him heal. Because I, I need answers and I need hope. I feel so alone. Okay, so how she's acting right there. Like I said, she does, she acts like this where she kind of goes back and forth for the first couple of days of him being in jail. 
but then it's all going to change. So, that's coming. Let's see. Now we're starting on the next day. Probably Photoshop for all I fucking know, but they can go ahead and say the incident is on the 4th. Like, why would I lie when when it fucking happened? That's so fucking dumb. Like, what would be the reason why I would lie about it? Because you're stupid? Anyway, they they just need to, like try to make me look like a fucking liar but you know what <laughs> but you do maybe not they're yourself. pulling up my old police report because I got arrested on the 4th of July I don't know but uh no yeah they're sad 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 people no reason why I would lie about that. <laughs> kind of stupid to think and try to convince people that I would lie about when the incident happens. I think they're they're lying about it because they want to see me react. They'll protest um, us too much. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I hope there's someone out there that will point that out because I, I, I'm i finding the lies, what they've been saying lately, like, quite hilarious, actually, because it's, like, to such a ridiculous extreme, like, they act like I lie everything that comes out of my mouth, and it's, like, uh no <laughs> and, they and make it's it like up uh... and they are known to make like false documents i know that to like oh so they're she's fucking already, morons already I think about the day. False documents. um they all do this for money and see if someone's gonna like say shit but they're just fucking stupid I say allow them to bullshit more and more and more. Um, allow those videos to be up. And then eventually, when I have enough money saved up, I can sue them for liable slander. And, um, yeah, all that shit that they did, uh will be documented and then they'll have a court you know paper to show <laughs> and how much of liars happen. they are so you know let them continue lying they're just showing their ass right now and um it's hilarious to watch to tell you the truth because it's nothing but bullshit at this point like no truth in what they say like, you would think if they were trying to make me look bad, they wouldn't change the date on when a dude was arrested directly after the dude made, like, a live stream and made TikTok videos to prove them elsewise and I think people are elsewise. smart enough to fucking figure this shit out but you know maybe I'm giving them a little too credit maybe they are that fucking stupid so that's why they believe that shit and would I really want stupid ass people to follow me anyway and believe me and follow me blindly no I want smart, intelligent people in my life, not fucking morons. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, they, they have to make something up to try to make me look like a liar, because at first, I was lying about Jason being in jail, and then they found out he was in jail, so they gotta try to make me seem dishonest and less sympathetic somehow to keep their fucking narrative going it's so 
fucking pathetic. How many of these do you have? A lot. Wow. A lot. I'm trying to find the good ones and, like, kind of keep it down from being so, so many, but... Motherfucking Real Stream News just offered me 300 fucking dollars so I can go and exploit the tragedy that just happened in my family just so I can sell out and make money. Well, if you want to, Carrie, you can personally tell Real Stream News that I told him to fuck off. Which I don't know Real Stream News, so I didn't. And why would you speak them. for her? You know. What I, mean? I don't know. I think she just wanted wants somebody to, anybody to defend her. Right. No, absolutely not. I ain't gonna sell my family out for three hundred freaking. Well, at this dollars. point, though, she was also flush with the just... uh, bail money, so she didn't. No, use she it. didn't have it yet. Oh. Yeah, she didn't have it yet at this point. <clears throat> still have integrity. I actually do care about my family, and I, like, why can't these people get it when tragedies happen? You leave them alone, and you allow their family to grieve or whatever that needs to happen. It's so fucking gross. It's so fucking gross. That's the gross thing? Yeah, I got a few hours of sleep, and... It, it makes me sick how they take advantage of people's tragedies like that and they don't even look at the human element it's all about the show and this isn't about a show for me this is my life this is like I love Jason I want him to get the help he needs I like and these people want me to be a fucking monster. They want me to just hate him and throw him away and and not care about him. And it's like, I've got a heart, man. And I've done some shit, too. I've got too. a heart, man. So it's like, I got to th put my my myself in his shoes and how he feels and what he's going through. The dude needs help. I honestly do not know. Um, I don't even know about when the arraignment will be or anything. I, I don't know anything about what's going on. You know, I like I talked to a couple friends last night after I got off and talked to you. And um, they made me look at things in a different perspective and you know, just helped me because, you know, I know what happened wasn't Jason. It was his mental illness. And even the boys know it wasn't Jason. It was his mental illness. So it's like, that's so funny. We up. just want him to become mentally healthy. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to ask the judge to get him mental health. What but again? When you like listen to these back or like think back, like do you think, man, you know she has me full? Do you think, um, no. you know, why did I even try? Like, what do you think? No, I think I doubted it. I doubted it from the get go, but I was just willing to leave a little thought that maybe she was gonna do the right thing. Um, but I was at this point, I was just trying to get information out of her, if I'm being honest, because I knew the stuff that she was saying online. Well, once she started flip flopping and was going to like, you could tell she was going to go back to Rev, I can see that. But in the beginning, when you were actually legitimate, like, and I guess what I'm saying is even then you were still new to Shani, right? Like when Rev went to jail, mm -hmm. you were still fairly new to Shani. Probably like six months. So now with the benefit of having covered her for the last year, plus that six months, knowing what you know, do you think, you know, what do you like? What is it? I think what, she was full of shit the whole time. Yeah. I don't think she ever intended on breaking up with him. You think she think like that. from the 
day he went to jail? You think she was just no? Full of shit? I know. Oh, I definitely know. Then and then, in a minute, and that's what I'm saying. Right now, she's defending him and saying all this shit. But that changes in a minute, and she goes way in the opposite direction to where she then she's just saying letting it all spill all this bad stuff about him stuff that has nothing to do with whether or not the medication like things that were going on before he was on medication she says it all i just know like when i'm in a situation where i question what i did or what i said or you know i man i should have said this i should have done this um like do you think that you should have like exposed her earlier or not, you know, given a shit? Or do you think it was still worth it because of the information you got? Um, I don't know. And so, I mean, situations like that are just so shitty, like, to think after you have the, the knowledge that you have from the time since then. And then to think back on it, you know? Yeah, like I said, I never trusted her or really had a lot of, you know... Uh, confidence that she was going to do what she needed to do but when she went so far in the other direction and was bashing him on live streams and telling everybody I really did assume at that point I started to believe she wasn't going to take it back right right well and I, I mean thought even if she does, he's not going to want her back after he hears all the shit that she's been saying about him. So I was kind of shocked by that, that they were able to, like, move past that somehow and stay together. Because I can yeah. tell you, the shit she said about him was fucking awful. Just awful. I mean, and you'll hear some of it on this, but she said it in live streams, too. So, I mean, it's he's heard it, you would think. Unless he made a conscious choice not to fucking watch any of that. That's what I would think. So, probably. But He knows if he listens to it, then he has to confront it and deal with it. Yeah. So, I'm going to play these again. And there is quite a few, so that's why I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm just trying to kind of, like, let him play and then talk after he, after we've played a few of them. If that's cool. So, are you saying shut up? No, I'm saying that's letting the audience know that's why I'm oh, not gotcha, being gotcha. as talkative tonight. Because I just want to play these for them so they can hear that. I haven't gotten any papers. I haven't heard from anyone over the phone. I've made calls. No one's come, no one's like came back to me. And, you know, I'm. I'm out of the loop. I don't know what's going on. So, you know, I thought I was going to do a restraining order, but I figure that's not going to be the best thing regarding our situation because, you know, he doesn't have anyone. Um, like, and all his stuff is here, too. Like, he needs it. So, like, I'm just going to go what happens. And see what ha goes from there. And, you know, some things are worth fighting for, even if it's something bad happened. And, um, I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know how they sleep at night. I don't know how they can put their head down and rest, knowing they go out of their way to dig their nose in other people's business. Now, the only reason why I came out with everything that happened with Jason was because I knew they'd find out anyway. So, like, I have a decision where I put my information. I'm going to put my information where I put it, and I'm going to be in control of it, you know? Not these idiots. And I don't care if they're put in one room or after another room or out. That's none of my fucking business. They... They're just being exploited as lies, you know? They're saying he got in jail in the 4th, and it's like he literally was live-streaming the other day. So you can try to say that, but you're full of shit. And if people have common sense, they would put two and two together and realize, wait, wasn't Jason doing this? 
But see, they 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 needed to do this stuff because they need to try to make me look like a liar and try to poke holes in what I say and and try to twist things and make them larger than what they are and like this is a wake up call for Jason. We didn't we didn't call the police to hurt him or or reject him. We called the police because we knew the police and the judges can give him the care that we can't give him because he needs he needs time to think and realize Jesus. what his priorities are and what's important in his life like to us he's important you know but that's his decision at the end of the day and we'll just wait on him and see what happens well you know i've done shit I've done a lot of shit, and, you know, I, I'll be honest, Jason stood by me through a lot of my fucking shit, and, um, that's what marriage is, is you take the good, and you take the bad, and you make it fucking work, uh, you take the good, you take like, the bad, you take it all, and now you have you know, the facts and, of life. Yeah. The facts of life. I think my friend put it all in perspective because she had a very similar situation with her husband and her, except it was her. And she put it all in perspective for me, you know, because he was there for me when he shouldn't have been. And he has forgiven me over a lot of fucking shit because of my mental illness. You got to return the favors that someone showed you. That's just how I always feel is like return the favors. Like if they've done that for you, you do that for them. Because that's what that's what it is to be a decent human being. You know? And I and I know a lot of fuckers, they want me to give up. They want me to stop doing and and you know, be angry and bitter and like I can't do that shit. I can't do that shit. I I love too hard and I see potential and beauty and the dude hasn't even gone to his first therapy appointment because um therapy is so extended like he has another month to go before he can even go to his first therapy appointment. So like is it fair to me to give up even though he hasn't even started therapy yet? Like I get it. It's hard for him to admit that he's sick and ill. It's hard. Like it, it. My mom was like that. She she had really bad mental health problems, and she just ignored them and ruined relationships because of it. And you know, family sticks together even through the hardest of times and they help people grow and take care of them. Like, would I dump someone who had cancer? No. So why should I dump someone because of mental illness? I just like, I gotta use my heart instead of using an advice that isn't exactly as much accurate to my situation as others. Whatever the fuck that means. Well, yeah, what the police she officer is said fucking if I needed boring, a jeans. Like, I am... She is... Well, what boring the, me to tears. Well, it gets better. Police officer said if I needed a restraining order, I would have to do it myself. I don't think there's anything regarding uh, Pennsylvania law that you know inhibits you to be together after that so it's not like Colorado but like he needs people in his life to help him like he has no one like I, I don't know I don't understand people who can so easily give up on others and like it's the mental health thing that gets me the most. Like, why leave someone who's having a mental health episode, like, when you've had so many? It just doesn't seem fair to me. 
it doesn't seem like the right thing to do, in my opinion. Like, I know that wasn't Jason. Do you think that I should skip some of these and go to when it starts getting crazier? Or is this too boring to you? <laughs> um, your call. I mean... What do you guys in the chat think? Is this boring? Are you getting bored with this? I can kind of go down and, and skip a couple of these probably if you guys want me to. to me and not being judgmental and trying to like manipulate how I feel and what I should do with my life um, because like I'm just trying to do the right thing by everyone not not just for myself but for everyone involved that's bullshit you know because this is my family you know Jason's my family. He's just not some some scrub I picked off uh, the street. This is a relationship that started out from a friendship. You know, I've known Jason for 10 years, and everyone abandoned me, and I know I have a feels, and he's alone in this world. So it's like, I need to do the right thing by him, by me, by my kids. Yeah, exactly. Like, Jason's never been to jail before, and he never really, like, fully comprehended the situations I was in. I think God put Jason in this situation and put him in jail so he could really, like, think about the consequences of his behavior and really think out what he truly wants in life. You know, for me, I want my family together and in therapy and happy and thriving. Thriving. You know, I don't want my, ther my family broken up because it's been so broken for so many years. Um, you know, and like I said, he stayed with me when I was going through it. Like, I have to return the favor or it wouldn't be fair. Also, may I add, Gavin is miserable right now. He misses Jason so bad. That cat has literally slept by the front door for two days now. He won't leave the spot because he's waiting for Jason to return home. And my heart breaks for him. Like, that cat truly loves him. And I don't want to break that cat's heart because he's so sweet and he's the best cat ever and he's got such a great heart and personality. Wow. It's almost like <laughs> she cares more about the cat than the kids. Of course. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm -mm. Also, if you're ever man. have insomnia and you can't go to sleep, just put this on a loop. Cause <laughs> Shut up! This is boring. Oh. I haven't, and I've tried, and all I can do is, like, feel him caring. All I can do is feel him, and, oh, God, I want him so bad. This is so bad. Like, I think I'm going through love withdrawal. <laughs> love withdrawal? Oh, God, what would I give for him to be in my arms right now? Yeah. It's so bad right now how I feel. She's going through carrot withdrawal. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah, I we definitely will do counseling and therapy together and try to get him healthy again and healthy. happy again. He's gone through so much. We've gone through so much together. I can't give up that love. I can't give it up. It's so beautiful. Like, when it's good, it's gorgeous. You know? Like, my friend, she, she put it into perspective 
what you do with each other when you fight, it's passion. When you love each other, it's passion. You know, when you don't fight and when you're quiet and you ignore each other, that's when the passion goes away. And she told me it's worth fighting for, and she's right. It's not. Just got off the phone with Jason's Uncle Tom, and he is, and I haven't even called him either. Like, he hasn't called anyone, and I tried to call the jail, and they're closed, and, oh, Jesus, God, help. <laughs> He knows his uncle numbers by heart. He knows my number by heart. He's very smart. And I... God. <laughs> I miss this man so fucking much. You have no idea. Yeah, I know when I was in jail, I didn't get a phone call. And I wanted a phone call until after the preliminary hearing so i'm hoping tomorrow it's been three days that the preliminary hearing is they say preliminary hearings are like in the state of pennsylvania like three to ten days but i'm hoping it's like tomorrow because the weekends come in and i need <laughs> my husband so bad Jesus. like it's it's like Everything in me is just crying out for him. I think this is how you know someone's your soulmate. No. Like when they're absent, you're just lost and just want them to be with you. Well, I've gotten these victim rights uh, papers, and it says that it's up to me if I want a restraining order or not. And I'm not going to give it, give it, get it, because it's like, he's not malicious, he's just sick. And that needs to be established within the courts that he's sick. He's not medicated the way he is. He just started a new medication, so that would, could be a reason why his brain is not working right. <laughs> um, I'm going to look at the side effects of Abilify and see if it causes um, unneeded aggression. Hold on a second. Unneeded aggression. Rather, uh, <laughs> I was right. It's the Umbilify that did it for him. He needs a medication change. Oh, my this God. This isn't a criminal case. This is a psychological case of of a um, medication causing a really bad problem. Here, look. I haven't heard anything but C CPS. I'm sure they're going to come to the house. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Abilify because he just got on it. And... You know, like, since he's been on it, he's been very manic. So, like, he needs a medication change um, because, obviously, he has gotten more aggressive and violent because of it. Like, this is... <laughs> he just got on this medication, and I'm sure, like, the DA and um, the judge would take that in consideration that, like, Abilify can cause violent anger. If that was the case, don't you think that everyone would go to court and say, I had just started this med like that that yeah. would be the most overused um defense ever. Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't give a fuck if anyone attacks me over this because this is my life, this is my in my son's decisions. And you asked how do the boys feel? I've sat both of them down and talked to them and asked them how they felt about the situation. And they miss Jason and they know it wasn't him, that it was his mental illness that did this. Because we're very open about mental illness in this house because we all share some kind of mental illness in the house, like me with my BPD, anxiety, depression. My son has anxiety issues. My other son is autistic, and Jason has a schizoaffective disorder and anxiety and depression. As diagnosed by yeah, Dr. He Shan. Yeah, has had anger issues before. But now, this question, this 
statement that she's about to play that I'm about to, that she's about to say that I'm about to play is in response to me saying to her, but hasn't he had issues with the anger for a while? I mean, the Abilify could definitely make it worse, but hasn't he had the anger issues for a long time? So, let's see what Shani has to say to that. Uh, or? Not this, that. I've never seen him go off like this before. Um, I've never, like, I haven't seen him so agitated, ever. Like, this Abilify is, like, not good for him. He needs to go on a different medication, and I know it's, like... A journey and it can be difficult when you first go on like medications and it can cause he's been having suicide ideation too and like ugh, fuck <laughs> this is so fucking hard like I want him to be good I want him to like thrive I love this man he's my world he's I feel so lost without him so God, like, I think, like, after he gets out of jail, um, we're gonna go to the Scranton Psychological Place. Hopefully we can call his psychiatrist and get his medicine fixed, because this is not good for him. Yeah, absolutely. This is a family thing. You know, this isn't, like, a drama thing for the internet. This is a family thing. Um, and this man needs love, and he needs care, like, it's so sad, he hasn't even gotten a hold of his uncle, he's gotta feel so ashamed of himself, but at the same time, if this is his medication, he can't help it, like, he's told me the story of what happened to him in 2004, where he had his first schizoid, um, break and um he got violent he got suicidal and this only happens when they're under extreme stress and he went back on youtube and the people started bashing him again and it's like i told him stop looking at the stuff stop going on youtube they're violent all right so uh okay so I'm going to address this one. I cannot play the next one. Um, or I could, but I'm not going to play it because it's actually the older son. Yeah. So Shani made him get on here and leave a message talking about how he knew it was just Rev's mental illness and that he wasn't really a bad guy and this was not his fault and make it was clear shani put him up to it of it was course obvious so i'm not going to play that one um we're going to skip past that but i did want to reference it because i think that it shows the um links that she was willing to go to to try to push this narrative that she was trying to push at this point like i said it's got it's about to take a drastic change um from here so like how he felt about the situation um like like i said we are did you hear what she just said to Which talk part? about that the, the, she wanted to put the son on there so that right. they got his yeah very that was my son i just thought it would be appropriate so you got like how he felt about the situation um like like I said, we are very open in this household about mental health issues because we all suffer from it. Right. So we all have a fascination in psychology and we talk about psychology and... You might have to close the door. Oh, okay. How certain situations make if us feel and, you know, I would love to hang out with you too. Um, hey I got now. family in Tennessee. Maybe the we hey can take now. a vacation down and meet up. I don't know what part of Tennessee you are in, but my family's in the Pigeon Forge area. So I love you, girl. Thank you for being so supportive. You're amazing. Oh, Shani. Oh, no. That doesn't stay that way. Give it a minute. 
Yeah. All right, let's see. Now we're going on to the 11th of June. Let me see what. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, these are pretty, uh, Arthur, about to get pretty juicy. I know juicy. it's late and all, but I just, I can't fucking sleep. But, I just thought of the funniest fucking thing. You know how Drac has, who can't make videos of me anymore because everyone thinks he's a fucking sexist, which he is, and a sexual harasser? Well, the funny thing is, is, like, he went on to, like, start making videos of Jason, and now that Jason's in jail, he can't make videos, which means Drag has to fucking suffer about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, he's having a really bad year. Let the karma begin. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Uh, well, I can tell you through me and Jason's research is um, he kind of has a sex call um, <laughs> going on. If you go to his Qora, you can see a lot of sites he's associated to, to sex trafficking. So he's doing, like, highly illegal shit by, like, starting sex parties on people and stuff. And um, these are just really gross f people. Like, and they just want to do it for, like, popularity. It's fucking weird. Okay, so the... I don't know if she's okay with this. I think she's just been with him so long that she just accepts his antics so here here it is like drag has a video out there i'm not sure where to find it he probably already erased it but in that video he talks about when mrs drag was 14 he ended up raping her in a movie theater and her dad ended up moving her to japan with him because he's a navy guy um, to get him away from her and then she ended up running away from home and getting knocked up at an early age and um, They admitted this shit. It's the most weirdest fucking thing. It's almost like Mrs. Drag is kind of a sex slave too Well, so she's saying that she's a sex slave by the way just in defense of them of drag he has addressed some of these things, some of these type of accusations that Shani has made about the rape and all that kind of stuff, which never happened, isn't true. So there's no no proof of that ever happening. So I just think that needs to be said. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the, I don't know if she's okay with oh, wait, this. No, not that one, the next one. And not only that, what a lot of women have told me is in order for a woman to join drag's discord, they had to show their tits and their fucking crotch. It's so fucking gross. So, like, he has a prostitution ring going on, like, with these sex clubs, you know? Because paying for sex is prostitution no matter how you look at it. Um... And, and the funny thing is, he's being protected by the Houston police over this shit. And because his brother is a police officer, so they know about this shit. And, um, I don't know, man. I'm hoping he gets in trouble sooner or later with the feds. But we have reported him with sex traffickers and FBI and everything. So, like, they're aware of it. 
Well, YouTube considers it fair use. But there's actually something. They actually can't use my videos. Because, um, technically speaking, um, since I'm banned off YouTube, you can't use videos from banned users, actually. Um, when was this, Jane? That's a new thing. June over 11th. A year, over a year ago? Mm-hmm. So the same shit that they just tried to peddle about new terms of service. She was saying it even back then. Mm-hmm. Wow. That happened on YouTube, so they're they're <laughs> they're posting bannable material. So and they are getting paid for bannable material, so <sighs> I don't know. I know that XS Archive, she ended up getting demonetized because of it, but, like, I got kicked off of YouTube for fucking nothing, and they still get to keep their channels to slander and whatever they do. Now, here's the awesome thing about this. If I end up getting, like, a lawyer, um, I can sue them for copyright infringement. Um, because they are uh, taking my material and they are making money off my material without my permission. Um, so they're fucked if I end up suing them because all the money they made belongs to me because it is my likeness, my videos, my work. Nick Akato Avocado did it. And suit the fuck out of all these fucking channels that fucking used to make money off his shit. And he's made millions from these people taking his shit. Like, millions. Um, me and Jason talk to him once in a while. So, like, he gives us advice and shit and how to do stuff. Um, so, I'm hoping that Nick will give me a reference for his lawyers. So... I can get my money, too, because, you know, the lawyer's office should do a pro bono because they make some bomb money off this lawsuits with me. Like, these people owe me so fucking much money. And as soon as I can have a successful lawsuit against someone, I could sue Google. So, like, I could sue Google for $50 million for damages. <laughs> And, um, I've been told this by Nicado Avocado himself that, you know, I can make a shit ton of money from, from Google by suing them because they allowed this behavior and this bullying and this defamation of character to happen, especially when I've complained about it so many times. Sounds like she's going to be rich. Good news right now. Um, G Man was supposed to get him bailed out today, but we got so busy that we didn't have time to do it, so he's probably gonna do it tomorrow. We'll see. I'm waiting on G Man right now. I don't know. I'm like, <sighs> I'm just feeling low today. I think it's because. My knee is extremely bad right now. Like, it is bad. And it's going to be storming today, so it's all overcast. And I'm just, I, I, and I just, I miss the man. And I, I don't know what's going on. And I'm scared. And it's just like, it's all coming. Like, oh, it's just too much for me to handle. I want to escape reality, and I want to smoke a big fucking bon, and it's like, at the same time, it's like, <laughs> I don't got any shit, so I'm like... A big bon, I really a bon need bon. something to calm me down, because I'm like, really fucking agitated today. Whoa, whoa, she's agitated. I want to smoke a big bon.
Okay, next one. Get this. So I really hate this fucking system. Get this. So Gary goes down to the Bales bonds, right? He 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 has the five hundred in his hand. The bail bonds man asks for a fee of a hundred and fifty dollars more. Hey, Breezy. To get him out of jail. Like, what the fuck? Hey, Breezy. So, Go ahead, what? She thinks that the bondsman is just going to do it out of the kindness of their heart. I don't know. I think it, apparently they were told one price, and then they got there, and it was another price. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I looked it up on Google. It could be like a month or two waiting for that shit. And I don't want him to wait that long. I don't. Oh my god. Like, what the fuck? Why did he have to act like this? Oh my god. And I. I. I, I can't do fucking shit because of my fucking leg i can't even get put weight on it so it's like even if i did have the money i couldn't do it g-man went back home so i guess we'll figure something out and like i'll wait tomorrow because g-man's coming again tomorrow but i am so sad and i feel so weak and i hurt so bad and I just, I just, I'm just so lonely and I need someone's help because I can't do this on my own. I am glad that I have my sons though, you know, they help me, you know, when they can, but it's like, I don't want my sons to help me like this. And I hate it. It's like I can't walk to take care of my kids. I can't fucking, I can't do it. Dude, she was saying the same shit even then. I think I'm just going to go on Twitch and play some Animal Crossing and maybe like Stardew Valley and like try to calm down and chill out because like I am because, like, so uh, emotional priority. today and I think it's mixed with hormones because I'm starting to feel them and God, Jesus, I just, please, Jesus, help us. Please. She is so overdramatic, my really God. really is. All right, let's see. Let me see the next ones. These are crazy. I'm probably just chilling to tell you the truth, Carrie. Like, and I get you no energy or drive to get out of bed. Currently, what I'm doing is watching just a bunch of, uh, gay animal crossers because they are the best to do animal crossing is these gay guys i don't know why but they are and they're hilarious and they make me laugh and they make me feel better let me show you one too pushy with like given us this information and then she like low-key was like passive aggressive and shit i think she may have been a troll but i'm so proud of myself i like organized my whole uh setup area and it looks so cute i have my rainbow uh fan out and then in, on, in front of it is my animal crossing switch dock with my animal cross like with my switch and then i have all my perfumes and everything all lined up and it just it looks so cute i organized my makeup thing i don't know what's wrong with me i'm just fucking bored i guess 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> They're nuts. <laughs> uh, the best advice I can say is just block and ignore, block and ignore, and eventually they just dwindle down and you don't hear anything from them anymore. Because that's ultimately what they deserve is no attention at all because they're losers <laughs> they're losers i know right these people know no boundaries and they don't understand why you don't want to answer personal questions with them like their capacity of rational thought have left the building it's all about let's get someone and it's like jesus guys you really need to get a life i'm just yeah everything's fine I'm going to be going back on soon. I'm just waiting on dinner. And then, you know, I'll be fine. I'm going to go back on, make some more money. Omni, thank you for the super chat. Omni says, this lady can't shake a bacterial infection, but we're supposed to believe she can shake off trolls by ignoring them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Omni. All right, let's see. Let me go back in here. Where were we? I'm sorry, guys. I know there's a lot of them, so it's taken a while to go Dude, through all this. Yeah. A lot. Oh, my God. Their narrative has changed. Now I'm a horrible person for letting Rev rot in jail, even though I was a horrible person for wanting to take him back. But now... I'm a horrible person for letting him be in jail. No, nope, you're just a horrible person. <laughs> period. Yeah, you're right. I'm not even gonna give them the 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 uh the uh the the the, the of making a remark about it. Cause frankly, these people have been so up my fucking coochie about my fucking uh, life. What the fuck? And, and, and the problem is, they're always wrong about my life. They're always While wrong. While twisting everything that I'm some dark, sinister person. Is that uh, Pretty yeah, Girl 1985? They're, they're fucking idiots, and they turn everything I do in some evil fucking thing. So, whatever. Twist what I do. I don't care anymore. <laughs> At least I'm doing what I need to do to survive without trying to agitate people. So fuck them. Mm. It all like it all comes from their heads. They speculate. They have such a narrative wrapped around their head. They've been so fucking brainwashed by these idiots who really are fucking nobodies. <laughs> who just has a loud voice and a lot of followers. And they just make shit up and pretend that it's true and then pass it around. Like, I hope people start to realize that these people are fucking full of shit because they are. <laughs> and for the record, I am not letting Jason rot in jail. I just feel like he's getting the help he needs in jail. And that's where he needs to be right now. Get now you'll notice, see, this is where things are starting to change. And now she's with the maybe doesn't want to be back with with Rev, so keep that in mind because that's what's about to be going down. Help, not not dealing with me and the boys and trying to figure out where am I going to stay. You know, at least he has a place to stay right now. Yeah, it's funny because when I talk to Jason, it seems like he has the understanding of it. Like, he understands he's the one who put himself in there. But these people, they have to keep on with the drama, so they have to make up bullshit and make things look like it's sinister and horrible. 
And I'm just at the point where it's like, I'm done trying to win with people. Even, even Jason, like, I'm fucking done trying to please people. Because it's like, no matter what I do, I'm always fucking evil in some way, shape, or form. And I'm fucking done. I'm sick of being people's fucking pariah. When all I am is a nice person, just trying my best to survive in this world. Here's the thing. I don't even like saying I'm a nice person. I don't like having to, like, point that out and say I'm a nice person. Because if you're a nice person, you shouldn't have to tell people you're a nice person. <laughs> but for some reason, humanity is so fucking slow, they think bullying is the answer. Instead of trying to understand a motherfucker. I'm so fucking sick of people's idiocy. It's like, can we stop thinking collectively for once and just think for our goddamn selves like serious i'm in the point of my life where i just feel like i should burn every fucking bridge down and just start anew and focus on me and my sons and no one else because i i just i i can't stand people anymore they're just they just lack all understanding and i don't know where this mentality came from because that wasn't how it was when I grew up. People had their freaking brains. They didn't have this like collective fucking thinking, this mob mentality thinking where they think they have to beat everyone up if they don't like them. It's the most ridiculous fucking bullshit. Like maybe six fucking years ago, I used to go back and forth with a couple people online. Like six fucking years ago. You know, and it always had something to do with some kind of moral issue of of these people being immoral. That That's usually, and I thought I had to go and defend everyone, and I did. But now it's it's like, dudes, I, I grown out of that shit. Like, I'm heading toward my 40s. And I saw people in their 40s, 50s, 60s doing the same fucking shit over and over again, repeating this bullshit. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. Plus, I got influenced by Eugenia Cooney, and it's like, <laughs> wait, she refuses wait. to say what? anything negative to people. And she really did influence me on that. So I decided not. Yeah. I'm sure it is going to work she out. She was influenced by it's Eugenia like, Cooney. Oh God. Like, isn't that her polar opposite? I hate this feeling, and I just, I feel like a shit person at the same time, and I know I shouldn't feel like a shit person. <laughs> Look who's in the chat. Because it's like, <laughs> you almost killed Zach. Where like, at? You didn't but, spell like, it right, dummy. God, it's like pretty girl 1980 is pretty girl G U R L busted you don't have it spelled right pretty girl so this You're not is another pretty, pretty girl. enough pretty pretty girl. girls pretty girls pretty girl <laughs> okay let me finish playing this now Oh, shit. What did I just do? Something dumb, I'm sure. I think I started calling Shanny on accident. <laughs> no. Yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy if I called her live on the air? But. Shanny. <laughs> but I'm blocked, so I don't think I I'd can. say I think that. Anyway, so she probably won't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she won't. <laughs> I don't want to break anyone's heart, but it's like, he already broke my heart a billion times. So it's like, what the fuck? What do I... Oh, God, I hate this. It sucks so bad, and I'm like, I'm scared about the future, but, like, I have no choice but to face it. All right, now is when it's officially gone in the other direction, everybody. Now she is on the Rev Hate train and that one is not going to uh derail until he gets out of jail yeah. she continues that this this energy from now until the rest of that so this is where it tends to get more interesting because of that because she starts letting a lot of, of, of shit slip i mean i think it's true 
could be lies too, but. Thank you for those words. I really need to hear that because it's like, uh, I don't know which way to go anymore. Like, I just want everyone to be happy. Well, I know which way I'm going to go. I don't want to be with him. I don't want to keep being hurt by him. I don't want to risk it. You know, there's so many stories of these men and they come back in these women's lives and they end up killing the whole fucking family. I'm not going to risk it. So she thinks that's a risk and she still took him back. No, I have no choice. But I think you're right, though. I think she is full of shit. I think there was an ulterior motive and that this is She got money. BS. She wanted to spend the money. Well, I think that she thought... I think you were a mark. I think that she thought you would spread the good word of Shani. You know, like you would tell people... No, she really is. You know, she's changing. She's going to leave Jason, blah, blah, blah. And she thought she had someone in you that would commiserate with her and tell people that she was doing the right thing. Yeah. Him. Like, I was warned by the CPS worker. Oh, oh this I... one is important. All right, guys. This one, very important uh, when I found this one because I didn't play this one in the past. Some of these have been played before. But this one had not, this right here, I mean, it really tells you all that you need to know about the situation and her kid getting taken away. And that she knew exactly what would happen if she let him back in that house. Or she's about to tell you that. No, I have no choice but to break up with him. Like, I was warned by the CPS worker saying, I don't want you to choose between your kids and your man, but if you do take him back, CPS is going to have a huge problem with this. And, you know, they will go in foster care, and, like, I'm not willing to do that. And for him, after all the shit he's put me through, I'm not going to lose my kids for him. And you're welcome. Like, I have a hard time having friends myself. Um, it's mainly because my last best friend took my ex-husband and, and cheated with him, and that, like, broke my heart terribly, and now he's gloating over this shit. Like, it's some kind of fucking funny thing, and it's not. Like, my ex-husband, he thinks he knows so fucking much about me. And it's like, dude, you haven't been in my, my, you know, life for five fucking years. And if it wasn't for him cheating on me and, and leaving me with nothing, I would have never been with Jason. Wow. Dude, she is way hung up on him. Wow. She literally found a way to blame the, the ex, Chris. For hit for Rev going to jail and her because she wouldn't <laughs> yeah. have, she, I wouldn't even been with him to go to to have him going to jail or to have him kick my kid or whatever if Tell me he that's had not stayed crazy with logic. me. Right. Like wow, wow. Um. Okay. Let's see. Exactly. It's overwhelming. Like. It's just so overwhelming, and the cruel things he says, like, he never wanted me, and him always comparing me to other women, how they look, and, like, he always brings up this one girl that he knew for, like, three weeks in, like, comparison of me, and it's so gross. It's like, they didn't even go out. That's the thing. He just liked her, and... He, he claims since it's the only experience he has liking a woman, that's why he keeps bringing her up. But it's like, dude, like, <laughs> you're hurting me by doing dude. this. Like, ugh. It's, ugh. Like, every day, like, three, four times a day, he'd bring this chick up and then talk about how hot this other chick is and... <laughs> I'm feeling insecure about myself. It's like, 
can't I be good enough for you? No, I wasn't. He had to do the porno. He had to go and look up porno of girls that I, like, watched on YouTube. And, like, he even talked to them. It was just... It was just really fucking just too much for me to take. And it just hurt so fucking bad. (laughs) Prostitutes. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to the 16th. Hold on. Okay. I'm better today. I'm better. G-Man left me some voicemails and made me feel better. He doesn't like what Jason did. He doesn't even like it. Like, it's just evil what he's done. Like, last night I was just thinking about him. Like, what if he did kill Zachary? What if he did? Wow. And I'm just going to take him back for that? No. Yep, you are. Ugh. I make myself sick sometimes. Yeah, you good. make me sick for sure. What? I said good. Oh, I thought you said you make yourself sick. Yeah, these are the ones that he, she really starts going in hard on Rev, so. Around 6 o'clock. But I was, like, freaking out last night and saying fuck man and just getting so fucking angry over the situation and me just being so fucking numb to the situation and uh, I hate myself sometimes don't worry we hate you too yeah (laughs) and there's the fact that Zachary is terrified of him Like, how could I force that boy to be in a situation where he's scared of the person he's living with? Like, I would be such a shit fucking mom doing that. Yeah. Like, the poor boy has been so mentally damaged. He asked me, why are you choosing me over him? And I was like, Zachary, you're my son. You're my blood. Of course I'm going to choose you over him. And I hate the fact that he asked that. Because he's been thinking about it if he asked it. Yeah, exactly. I always hated how he treated Zachary. He always treated Zachary different. And there was something wrong with Zachary. And Zachary doesn't deserve love and respect. And, like, he... he, Like, G-Man's even heard this. And G-Man even got on Rev over this. That... He, he always tells Zachary that Zachary doesn't deserve anything. You don't deserve shit, Zachary. You don't deserve anything. And it, it, it's just constant treating this kid like he's shit. And it, it just breaks my heart because it's like, can you treat... Like, so many fights I had over how he treated Zachary and... And, and, and him now saying he's on drugs and he wants to be the best dad ever. It's like, dude, you didn't even do it right the first time. What makes you think that I think you're going to do it right the second time? Yeah, I, I've i been noticing that, too, that he solely, like, focuses all his angst on Zachary. And it's always like, why? There's something not right with him, Shannon. There's something not right. It's like... Look at your own fucking self. You're picking on an autistic child. And you think you're a good Christian man? Like, oh, I'm so mad at him. Like, why did you hate this child so much? And you're right. It's narcissistic in a lot of ways. It very much is. And it just always made me sick. And I've gone through so many fights with him over protecting Zachary. Ugh. Ugh. And the idiot keeps trying to call collect to me. And, like, three times a day he's calling collect. And it's like, dude, I don't even call you back. I don't even pay for the fucking number collect. Like, get the fucking hint. 
Like, I don't want you. You destroyed anything that we had. Yeah, exactly. Like, he talks about how much he loves his mother, but yet he he does everything in his power to try to break the bond between a mother and her, his and their child. Like, and, and make the child feel like he's nothing. Like, he really has made Zachary really, like, kill his self-esteem. And I fucking hate him for it so fucking bad. And I'm just so, like, I, I just, ugh. He needs to stay the fuck away from me and stop fucking calling me. Because I really don't want anything to do with him. I really, like, he must have some strong delusion in his head thinking all this shit. Everything he put me through, and I'm just going to be willy-nilly taking him back. Like, ugh. Like, I can't even look at him in a positive way. I can't even look at him in a, a loving way like I should. All I, all I feel for him is contempt at this point. Contempt. Okay. That's because I'm calling the police. That's basically what I'm going to do. Like, she can go say she's trying to get a hold of the jail and stuff and try to talk to him. But you literally can't talk to these people without them calling you. So, good luck with that, idiot. She's just trying to scare me. And you know what? It's not a good look on these people. Because, first of all, these people said I was good, I was a horrible mother if I ever took him back. And now they're, they're trying to bail him out. So, you know what? It's a bad look for them. Because they're the ones now that are enabling child abuse. Not me. It's okay. They can go make themselves look like they're fucking stupid. At the end of the day, you heard it from both my sons. You know, you didn't hear it from me. You heard it from my sons what happened to them. And and it was my son that called. It wasn't me. It was my son. So they could say it didn't happen. They weren't there to say if it was or not. They just have to try to make it seem like I'm a liar. I wonder why they think this shit happened on the force. Like, where did they come up with this idea? Like, we called right when it happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, I abused Zachary? Wow, so I'd kick my kid in the head and in the ribs. What the fuck? Like, I would never, I've, I've never, ever, 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 ever kicked someone. Like, what are you I doing, baby? I've slappy a couple times, Nothing. but kicking, uh, that's a whole nother level. Like my lung, my 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 legs are way, way, way stronger than my my hands <laughs> and my arms. <laughs> I could crush a man's skull in with my legs. Like, well, I you got to carry all that weight. Like, did you just hear what she said? She could crush a man's my skull with him. Stronger than my my hands and my arms, I could crush a man's skull in with my legs. Like I used to, I used to lift like two hundred and fifty pounds with my legs when I used to work out. So it's like <laughs> I have a lot of muscle memory. Like these people muscle are so memory. Fun. muscle memory crushing men's skulls. Are you? If you're getting too tired, baby, why don't you jump off and I'll finish this on my own. Do I sound tired? Yeah. I'm good. You do. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want you to feel like you have to be doing this. <laughs> if pretty girl comes around, maybe I'll go talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that people are starting to wake up and see this for themselves. Their lies and deceit they put onto people just to cause hate and strife. It's so evil. And I feel bad for their lemons because, like, they don't know any better. They think 
they're angry over something that, you know, it, it's like their heart's in the right place, but like how they do it is wrong because they're really not going by the truth. They're going by speculation and that's really fucking stupid. Okay, let's see. Now we're to the Dude, next. I cannot believe how many of these you cut. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Okay, but I think we're coming down to the final countdown here. It's the final countdown. countdown. Slap it a BS. Slap in the BS. I can't believe they're fucking doing that. Like, is it illegal for a 15-year-old to work, walk to the nearest convenience store? I don't think it is. I don't know why they're so hell-bent in ruining my fucking life. I'm not doing anything... Other than surviving with my sons. With my sons. <laughs> well, you would think if they were really fucking cops, they would have left a card or something. You know? Usually authorities leave cards. I think people are posing as CPS workers and, and posing as authorities and trying to get in the house. That's what I'm starting to think. Now, see, the reason she's bringing that up is because of what I heard at the ha at her house. Somebody banging on the door. And, right. You know, so she's trying to play and say, oh, well, it, it wasn't CPS. It could be people posing as CPS. So that's why I'm not answering the door. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Well, you would think if they were really fuck. That's why I don't leave the house. That's why I don't leave the fucking house. And now I'm kind of scared for William to actually leave the house now. I was beginning to feel safe, but I don't think I do anymore. I think I'm going to have to call the police and, like... If you could, like, put a statement down with them, like, Scranton police, and let them know, and show them these clips, that would help me, too. <laughs> so, what she's talking about is when, uh, Reb was in jail, at some point, when people found out that she was not going to bail him out, they started talking about going and bailing him out. Yeah. And, um... Then when it got close to the court date where he was going to be in court, some people were talking about showing up at the court date, that there would be people show up at the court date. So that's what she's talking about, wanting me to go talk to the police about, which there's nothing the police would do anyway. No. I mean, no. it's open to the public. So that's why people, you know, said that they were going to go because anybody can go. Um, so anyway, that's what she's referring to. Because, you know, every time authority has ever came to my house, they always leave a card. And you telling me there's no card they left? That's fucked up. I ain't answering my goddamn door. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm in it hiding forever. Again, this is what she was saying because I had heard someone show up to the door, to the house. Um... And she's saying that it, it she thinks it wasn't them because they didn't leave a card. Right. And she thinks that it was people posing as uh, Department of Children and Families. So, yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now the next set.
Can you hear me now? I was muted. Oh, yeah, now I can. Um, I was why wondering. You, why don't you jump off, babe? Because you sound really, really tired. I think you should jump off and get some rest. I don't have that much more to go. And I can do it with, without you. I can do it on my own. Fine. I'm going to talk Fine. to my girlfriend. Go talk, yeah, go talk to pretty girl. <laughs> I love, love you. you. Bye. Okay, now that he's gone, let's get back to it. Well, the weather is fucking cold today, so I'm having a fucking flare-up, so I'm not feeling fucking good there. All my freaking arthritis is like, hey, we're gonna play up today, so I'm in fucking pain. And I'm hormonal, and I don't feel like being fucking pretty. And I, I'm in a bad fucking mood, and all I want to do is just stuff my face full of fucking chocolate ice cream and cry. But what I think I'll do is play some Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley and maybe some fucking Donkey Kong Country and try to calm my fucking bitch ass down, but... As of right now, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? So, like, I, I, I just, like, I just have my glasses on, and I'm having my hoodie, because it's fucking cold. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, you are losing so much fucking weight. And then I'm just, I'm, like, crying constantly. Like, I could, like, start crying right now. That's just how I fucking feel. So, I'm just a big fucking hormonal mess today. And I want a goddamn warm fucking coffee and some Tylenol or something like that. And, and, and maybe a fucking hug. Because it's been a while since I've gotten a fucking hug. I'm sorry about your relationship with your dad, but I totally get bad relationships with fucking parents. I, I think I was born into that type of reality, and then every Mother's Day and Father's Day, I kind of get a little fucking bitter because it's like, wow, I wish I could love and appreciate appreciate my parents like I see these things my mom's my best friend my dad's my best friend and it's like I can't relate my mom and dad were my number one abusers in life they really fucked me up so knowing it's father's day it's like I love you dad but you hurt me more worse than a lot of people in this world. I'm sorry about your relation. But, you know, I'm just like... I'm trying to, like, feel better, and I, I can't today, man. I can't. I want a fucking cappuccino. So bad. I, 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 I want, like, a cup of soup or something. I, I just, I just need real, true, like, self-care TLC today. I'm fucked up, girl. I'm fucked up. I think it's be <laughs> In all honesty, I have no idea. I didn't get any notice. To be in court, I haven't received any phone calls to be in court, but I think tomorrow I'm going to call just, just to make sure, if anything, I'll, I'll try to negotiate with them to, like, let me at least phone in or something like that, but, like, really, I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly is gonna be happening um I just don't know this isn't my thing this is his because it's the time of month where the woman's at its weakest it's called it, it's called menstrual 
monthly's moon for a reason, you know? The moon goes through different cycles, you know? You're in the new moon phase where your light isn't being able to shine. Yeah, exactly. I think women who, like, enter their 40s, they're, like, ready for it. They're ready for the change. I'm ready for the change. I'm not going to have any more babies. So why not go through the change? Why not do it now? Why not just stop my period? I don't need it. I don't, I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't want it. You know, I don't care if my chin gets all fucking hairy. I'd rather have a hairy ass chin than bleeding every month and feeling like I'm going to die every fucking month and, and go through this hormonal fucking mess that I'm going through. You get that, girl. <laughs> nasty, nasty. Okay. Think. Let me see. We're at the next day. So get this. These idiots are planning to not only go to the court. Oh, listen to this. This is when she starts talking about G-Man coming to protect her. I'm... <laughs> So get this, these idiots are planning to not only go to the court room, which is probably going to last maybe two minutes because it's a politi poli preliminary hearing, like I wasn't even asked to go, okay? So get this shit. Not only that, they're, they want to come to this house and, and, and take pictures, um... They're, they, they're going to be shocked to see that I'm not going to the uh, courthouse and I'm not leaving my house tomorrow. So they're going to be really shocked and they're going to be wasting their time and they're going to be like, but I thought... Da, 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 da. Like, they literally think that I'm on trial. I wasn't even invited to go. Like, the fact is, I'm not even the victim in this case. My son is the victim. I'm the mother of the son. So, I'm not going to have much to do with this trial or being on stand or anything like that. Because I'm not on trial. And G-Man's all paranoid, and he might be coming over tomorrow, but I also know that he's going to be sending his boys to the house to protect it, so I'm going to have a whole gang of black men surrounding my house protecting me from these nutcases. Uh, could you imagine trying to come near this house and you see a whole gang of, like, New Jersey black men fucking protecting the house and porch. Motherfuckers, they want to go around and call me fucking racist and all this stupid fucking shit. But I literally have a whole gang of black people protecting me and the children. Ain't that something? <laughs> And some of them aren't the nicest of black people. Like, these are people who've been in, cri in the crypts and the bloods. So, like, these idiots, they have no idea what's coming to them as they try to start some bullshit. Tom's like, I'm not getting involved in any of this court stuff. I have a reputation to protect. Okay, Tom. No, no. Uh, Jason doesn't even know these people are coming. That's the thing. And I don't know what he's going to say. I think he's probably going to, like, plead not guilty by reason of, like, insanity. I think that's the honest, honest take, really at the end of the day 
and I just cannot see him betraying me. Like I said, he's fucking crazy and drives me nuts, and I want to kill him half the time. But we have a soulmate thing, and that's that's something you can't fucking break. So, fuck these people. They're idiots. I mean, and what a good way to prove to my to the judge and to the CPS worker. My, the CPS worker is going to be there tomorrow. I know that. But what a great way how to prove to them that we are, we are being stalked. Like, we've told the police this. We've told CPS this. And this is just further proof in it. And you know what? I hope these motherfuckers get charged with, like, false, uh, false reports. Because this is kind of proof of that type of shit now. Like, these idiots just want me to feel intimidated and shit. And here's the thing. If God is for me, who can be against me? I'm not, I'm not worried. I know God protects me and my sons, you know, and he gives us everything we need. You know, I know that. I have that type of faith. Like, like, it, I have, you know, moving mountains type of faith. So these idiots, they think they can act like freaking devils around me. And I'm just looking at them and I'm like, man, you're not going to have a good time on Judgment Day, you stupid fucks. Because at the end of the day, that's what these bad behavior people are. They're stupid fucks. And they're going to be judged by God so badly that <laughs> that they're going to be begging on their knees saying sorry for all the fucked upness they've done. Yeah, exactly. Like, they really need to wake up to reality and learn how to join the human race again. Like, this is not proper behavior for society as a whole. This is psychotic. This is, this is, like, in Little Nicky, this is John Lovitz sitting out on a tree and, and watching a woman change after coming home from work. That's, that's what they are. So, I mean, they're only causing their own destruction at the end of the day while trying to make it seem like it's funny to be a criminal. Yeah, I'm gonna go live today. I really love my Animal Crossing Island, and I love freaking Stardew Valley. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like those games. They relax me. But right now, I'm literally wearing my uh, champion hoodie with a pair of bikini bottom. Well, not bikini bottoms, but like a two-piece bottom. And I'm living for this look because it's the most comfortable that I've been on. Been. You know, I don't want anything on my legs, but at the same time, I need warmth in my chest. Does that make any sense? No, <laughs> it does not make any sense at all. I'm just, like, really, like, curious at this time what these delusional fucktards, like, what do they expect will come out of all of this creepy fucking behavior they're doing? Like, do they think people are gonna, like, respect them for this shit? Like, this isn't respectable behavior at all. This is psycho psychotic. Uh, you and me both, sis. You and me both. Like, my period hasn't come, but I have, like, that icky feeling, you know? You know what I mean, that icky feeling down below. Like, I know it's fucking coming. But at the same time, I'm, like, cold and hot, so it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Plus, I'm sore as fuck and moody. I just want to rip someone's head off, but at the same time, I'm really fucking horny, so I know I'm a hormonal mess. So, I'm really bored with my life, 
because I'm curious about something. And I don't know what, how you're going to take this. But, like, right now, I'm just catfishing fucking Nader. Because I want to see how, how far this fucker will go. <laughs> so I'm catfishing him, and he keeps responding to me on Facebook. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? She was catfishing Nader. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this woman? My god. So Rev's in jail, and she's home catfishing Nader. You can't make that shit up. So, I'm real- So I just called the prison trying to get Jason's status, right? You know, like seeing if he's going to get released or something. And the only thing I found out is apparently he's been in the medical mental part of the prisons. Wait, what's wrong? You guys can't hear me? Is my internet going out or something? Just let me know if you guys can hear me and if I'm coming through okay or if I need to jump off. You think I should jump off and come back on and see if that helps? It'll take a second. Here, I'll do that really quick, okay? Give me one second, guys, and I'll see if that helps. It won't take long.
Okay, I should be back, guys. Can you hear me now? And does it sound any better? <clears throat> Just giving it a second. Do I sound robotic still? Does it still sound like shit? If it, um... If it ends up being too bad, I may have to just, um, you know, we'll stop here and I can do the rest of it later. There's not a whole, a whole bunch left, but let's see. Let me turn this up again. So I just called the prison trying to get Jason's status, right? You know, like, seeing if he's gonna get released or something. And the only thing I found out is apparently he's been in the medical mental part of the prisons for this whole entire time. So it's like, he's been in the mental ward, so he's definitely gonna be getting it for mental, I would assume. And, and here's Dragnaut being a total idiot talking about he refused to get counsel no um it's because he's having a hard time standing trial because of his mental ability jason's case was dismissed that's all i know for now is his case was dismissed uh oh no the case was dismissed so his judge's name was McGraw, and his case was fucking dismissed. Wow. I have no idea, but I figure I'm probably going to see him soon. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, I have no idea. I have... No idea. Huh. You know what? He knows they're fucking idiots. That's what it is. I... I didn't get any invitation. I didn't get any information or anything. I was just waiting for the phone call or a letter or something, and I got nothing. But I mean, I guess it's good for him. Plus, he got time to think things over and figure out what he wants to do with his life. You know, it could be worse. It could be worse. Maybe he's not going to return at all. Maybe he'll fuck off with one of the idiots. And, 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 you know, I don't know. All I know is... Hmm. Well, I don't know. I believe he is my soulmate because I haven't been able to sleep, eat, or pretty much anything... Was that a knock on the door? Never mind. But I, yeah, I, uh, we're just going to have to find out what the fuck happens. I just don't fucking know anymore about anything. All I know is last night i heard god tell me that it's his will for us to be together so i'm gonna trust in god hopefully things are gonna get better i don't know who knows i'm just gonna go one day at a time so obviously at this point i knew what was up and i was pretty sure she was gonna take him back i wasn't 100 percent sure but i was pretty sure so 
now these are going to be the last few and in in a couple of these you know she finds out that i uh you know release the dms or whatever the the message between us and she's not happy so we got that to look forward to You know, maybe he's not going to come back. Maybe he won't come back here. Maybe he'll find some other place to go. Maybe he found someone else. I don't know. I wasn't given anything to show up to court. I got no notice, no phone call, no nothing about this shit. Like, I got no fucking notice from anything. You, you've been talking to me pretty much since this, all, this whole thing gone down. Did you hear me get any phone calls or anything from anyone? Did oh. Did you see me? I, like, I was checking mail every fucking day. I want you to listen to this one well again. Because this proves exactly what I said. Which was that me and Shani were not friends. We were not close or anything like that. We didn't talk, start talking behind the scenes and like actually becoming, getting to know each other like that until he went to jail. And it was only from the time period that he went to jail and he went out. I was in her chat and things like that before that. But we were not friends. So just saying right there, I'll play that one more time for you. Like, I got no fucking notice from anything. You, you've been talking to me pretty much since this, all, this whole thing gone down. Did you hear me get any phone calls or anything from anyone? Did you see me? I, like, I was checking mail every fucking day. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that it got dismissed so it's not on his record or anything. Like, he can have a fresh start. Plus, he spent like 20 days in jail. I think that's punishment punishment enough for the guy. Plus, he's probably walking in the rain home. Unless those fucking assholes got to him. Okay, here are the, uh, the last few guys. Oh, Carrie. Did you have to be a fake? <laughs> oh, Carrie. How does it feel that you said you'd be a good friend and then you go and give information to people? Yeah, that one's fucked up. I don't know what happened with that one, but. Come on, Carrie, you're all red in the face and you got caught lying and cheating and showing people's DMs. Does it make you proud that you trick people and manipulate people and their feelings and make them think that you're actually a friend and you're really not? You're just a liar. Oh, come to Tennessee. Come to Tennessee. Come give me this. Come do this for me. <laughs> fake, come do fake, what fake, for fake, you. fake, fake, fake fake you can give this to people but i've been real with you and you've been fake with me so i hope you're proud of yourself carrie that you know you actually manipulated someone who was being honest and had good intentions and thought i had a friend but instead you were just another fake person and 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 you did it so well i just have to say you did it so well in in the support of me and making it seem that you cared but really you were just giving information to people and that's really sad carrie that you would do something something to someone who's been really genuine and kind to you and i listen to you like you have no idea how wrong you are and how evil you are. I'm evil, guys. Well, that is it. We made it through those uh, 
<laughs> voice messages. It was a lot. I didn't expect it to take quite so long, or I wouldn't have dilly-dallied quite so much earlier in the stream. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I hope that you guys found them interesting. Uh, maybe we learned a little bit here that we didn't know before. I don't know. Um, but it was definitely an interesting um, couple of weeks, to say the very least. And it has been pretty interesting since then. Not going to lie. Um, so, <laughs> but she knew. You heard it in her own words. She knew if she took him back, Department of Children and Families were going to take her kids and put them into foster care. She knew that. She was aware of that when she made the choice that she made. And so, yeah, as soon as she brought him back in the house and I saw that's where this was going to go, I was done. I was fucking done. I didn't trust her and have a lot of faith in her to begin with. But that told me all I needed to see. And, um, yeah, the voice message about uh, Nader. Yeah, that's hilarious. She was catfish and Nader. Like, who in the world? Ma'am, what are you doing? Um, anyway, well, I'm going to wrap this up. It's been a long one already, and it's getting really late. And so I'm going to go and chill out with my husband if he's not too busy with Pretty Girl 1985. Um, but I will leave you guys with a song the way I did. And, and before I go... Pull up something real quick for you. A couple of things. Drop in a couple, a couple of links here. Um, the first one is to Omni's channel. Um, he goes live every Wednesday and every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And he's, he's very talented, hilarious, good stuff. Go check him out if you have not and subscribe to him. And then I'm going to drop the link for the goddamn podcast. Um, I don't know for sure if it's going to be um, tomorrow or the next day. But we do have, we are going to have one coming up soon. We just couldn't do it when, um, when we were originally meant to tonight. So that's why I went ahead and jumped on the chance to cover these voice messages. Because I went through them by myself last night. And, uh, yeah, I knew, I was like, some of the, I didn't even remember some of them. I was like, like the CPS one where she said that she, um, you know, uh, um, had, what, knew that if he went to, if he came back in the home or whatever, that sh the kids would go into foster care, that there is a really good chance that that, that would happen. So, that one was pretty um, mind blowing to hear, even you know, for the second time. Obviously, I heard it the first time, um, but she knew she knew what was up, and uh, she didn't care. She wanted to do what she wanted to do, and I fully feel that if they had not gotten busted, um, like they did, that on Twitch that. I don't think they they would have, um, you know, ever admitted to it or whatever. And they would have continued to try to lie and stuff like that. So, um, you know, that's why I did what I did. And I don't regret it one bit. And, um, but anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, I hope that you had a good time. I had a good time. I'll probably be around tomorrow at some point. I don't even, I don't know, like I said, the podcast coming up, not sure which day it's going to be, but you'll probably see me. I try to stream most every day. So, you know, if there's stuff happening, I try to stream. So um, I will definitely bring anything like that to you guys. And let's see, what song do I want to torture you guys with tonight? Let's do this one. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good night. See you next time.
I got the sun, so it's a little girl.